The atmosphere has not been stirred. 
Can I hear us make a loud noise? The Bible said, said they spoke in tongue and the spirit came upon them. Minakabada shatabahash. Ebeletungebelai. Ah! In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 11, he said, We are the glad God. It rains. It's about to rain in the territory. Megabalata shalitera. Bandaba tabaya. So militaile. Lia bantobata. Aya. Can we travel? Can we travel? We are at those. Even I, 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 upon our generation there is a call upon the land the land sick for men men that can travel no 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 this cannot be our capacity i say no we have more more can you press oh can you apply your will i know that you are already giving up but can you push a little can we travel? Ibana Katiko. Ah, 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 Ela, 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 Ela. You can move around as you engage by speaking in the Holy Ghost. Abate kosa tayaba, Lord, not again. God, you will cause an activation over the territory. Asadina kabai, Ebela kopete kakai, Alabala kakumele tebele kuba kakai, Lete katuata baruata, Ayaba nito vinatai, Asha, Hey! Ibala tumbika, eleto kabratwa, elete na taya balata, eke degi la taya ka. Can you press a little, a little, a little, a little, a little until there is a burning, until there is a breakout, until fire fall. You will feel the fire yourself, the fire that will engulf the territory. Ashanda baloto bika tay, elebe neta baliko baratwa, aya, aya, aya. Aya, 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 kabatoya. We are about the glad God. We are about the glad God. We are about the glad God. There it will rain. The rain of the spirit. Let the fountain, let the fountain of heaven pop up on this morning. As an diva wrote of a hush. Hey, ibata iko baha. Can we travel? Ezuzu digi akabai ataka kaka kuku kuku ete te te kabala taka kaka elita iku kuku tina aya daba do file iya daba haya aya kote ya eso 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 young man press a little eso liga bala bala komenet ah tata kaka kaka ina tuwa kabala ta in the book of Luke twenty two verse forty five and Jesus when he met them he told them say Rise and pray. He said, Rise and pray. Ah, ah, a day and now, a day and now, a day and now. No, no, a coba, 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 a coba. God is counting on you. God is counting on us this morning. I can't take over. A left a little higher. Can you shake your body? Can you shake your body? Asatea, asatea. Ah, 
Ah! 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 Oh my God! Bataco Balata! Elete Dete! Elia Kabalata! That is the question upon our region. That is the question upon the land. And the question is, you are who shall listen? Who shall go for us? Abinataya Bakotea, Akataya Kanata. Can the great monarch find you this morning? Can the great monarch find you this morning? Ah, Hey, Shake up yourself, shake up yourself. Make sure that you are praying. Oh, I am not satisfied. A bread of soco de letta. I am balato de lecroto. A bread of water balata. I am balata de legadia. Can we pray? A cataico, a cataico, a lecatina. The theme is a prophetic, is a territory. Can we say that territory? No, no more. No more shall darkness. No more shall darkness. Remain over that territory. Ebaro shada bakato. Ibanto shataya. Arau bataiko. Elefelitaya. Ayabando de leko palata. Eshe de leko palatwa. Elekro felitaya. Ayabatwa kavana. Ande veleko palatwata. Eron de veletwata. Aya. 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 Oh my God. Oh my God. Ano fela kopela. Elefila to sataya. Ayam boko veletwata. Ila tomba rwa. I am a coveter, Elea, 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 Elea. Can we cry? Can we cry? Can we cry? Can we chant in the Holy Ghost? Can we cry? Can we pray? No, oh, where it must open up. I come the Lea, I come the Lea. Ipakada shate Ah Eberua tua kapete Epete kubaka katika balata maha Eshete tete kwa kakalita ya Hey kabalata ya Epele kubalatu waka balata te Elepele kubalata balata Esu satu kibala kwa kaba Ayantu maka vitete Esatia na balatwa Epele te If your neighbor is not praying My brother Travi There is a call And when the great one we are when the great one will descend, oh, oh, ah, men will be marked out, men will be assigned, men will mark up their gate, umata yaka, avanitu barwa, eletwa kabalata, ayabanto, 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 ero, 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 Oh, ah, 
Ebaka. Can we cry? Can we shake the atmosphere? Can we make ready the cloud? Let the heaven be up that the great one will come. Abanto Satai. Eleviatwa. Ah. Ah. Koatwa. Eledendebo. 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 Ratwa Kaba. Ayana Tata. Valava Lava Kute. Until you feel fire, until there is a break in your stomach, until the fire fall, can we press? Can we press? No more shall we be head in darkness. No more, no more. Aya, aya, leko balitai. Eka, eka itu, eka itu bakuku, aka kaki tiki kai, lete teke kaka tina ka, ayata tata bala bala ta, aka kaka kaka kaka. Hey, don't be in here, don't be in this meeting, and the great one will come in, and you will not be found, you will not be found. Ah, don't be like Jacob. Ah, don't be like Jacob. He said God was here, and I knew not. Not in my time, but there is a need upon my generation. Abaka, 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 Abaka. Our family are crying. The territory is sick. Can we rise? Ashata kaka, elete suzatina, eberatu kapataya, ayambekuba, ayambekuba, ele, 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 ele. But I will pull, I will pull upon the house of David, the spirit of grace and supplication that never fails. O mata i kupa ya, ya ba 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 la ta da 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 ba la ta, ya da 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 ba la ka di na 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 ba, da 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 da. Ah, ah, hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. It's conference for men, men that will take over the territory, men that will man the gate. Oh, akaba dorshelia, eberatwa kavita, ibantu kita, ayanga vetete, elede di nata ya baba bala tobi kete, elege di yata bala kaba, aratwa kavita ya, ara ara, elede de 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 belege de 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 belege de, belege de de belege de belege de, no 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 no, young man don't give up, young man don't give up, young lady don't give up, we can we can. We can bring it down. Revival will break up. No fire will engulf our city. No Jesus. Jesus will be no again. Ah, ah. Gather yourself. Gather yourself. On desire travel, there is no testimony. On desire travel, the territory remains under influence of darkness, but not again. Zion have decided to travel in our time and in our day. Zion have decided to travel. Abail, Ebenat wa kabaha, Eshekele kubaha, Ebelat wa kabila ta, Abantu kita ya, Ayau bele, Ro di kaki kubana ta. Zion Travi, can we Travi, can we Travi? Oh, oh. I Oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It is a prayer conference. 
We are not here to do anything. We are here to shake the crowd. We are here to shake the atmosphere. Because something mighty will come from the eternity. Something will pop out that will be a breaking in the spirit. And son and daughter shall rise again. The land will be shaken. He said, What this? He said, What this are flying their windows? Men will fly. Men will fly. Men will fly. Oh my God. Abandu sete. Eletu karabu belete. Elete de 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 belete una kabala balata. Elete de 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 balata. Ayato vika tuata. Ayita mala tuata. Eye kuaka. Ah. 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 Kuakwe. Elete te kubata. Ayande te nata. Ele baruatu aka. Eche de ti nata ya. Ele baruatu vite tene. Ele ge di nata ya ga. Ele bele ge di de di yata. Are you the one? Are you the one the territory is waiting for? That was the question of John to Jesus. Are we, are we going to wait for another? Can we say not again? We are the one. We are the one that will turn darkness. We are the one that will turn Satan out of our city, out of the region. Abaka to Satai, Eberat Wakata, Eteke Teke Teke, Ayabala Kataka, Elete Teke Leata, Eletu Ata, Eletu Eletu. Can we just press a little? Oh, that is a shift. Can we just press a little? Can we just press a little? Ayaka Bakaka, Etete Teke Tabaya, Ayina Taya Bakaka Taya, Elege Dega Lagadaya. The moment to is gathering. There is a little glass for me. There is a little glass for me. No. Aya. 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 My God, stop looking around. Akaba lo tema ha, iban tuke tai, ayan tu malata ka, ebele tu akaba lata, eleke teke te, elika taya ba ha, elekwa taya ka, anko ele tu ata. And Abraham asked God, he said, if I find five righteous men, will you say destroy that city? He said, no, not for five. Can God find five? Oh, we are more than five here. We are more than five here. And the city and the region and the nation will be torn to our Lord again. He said, can I find five? Oh, Anataya, register your praise. Akata Yavanita, Elete Kukakata, Elete Barato Akania, Epina Dosa Dina Lakaba, Aya Da 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 Bala Kumene Te Debe, Lega Dega Lega Dega Lakaba, Barato Akaba Tote Te, Beye Barato Ande Beata, Beye De De Dina Taya Baha, Aya Kobe Barato Ata, Lega De De Dina Taya, De 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 De, For how long, For how long, For how long, For how long, With the land more, For how long, With the city more. For how long with our territory more? For the Bible said, uh, because men uh, do not lay it to heart, uh, the land more in the book of Jeremiah, the land is crying, the territory is sick, uh, and there are no men of stature. For after this morning, men of stature uh, you owe your generation. You owe your generation. You must pay the price. You must pay the price. There is a mountain. There is a mountain. A cow. Let it. Paratwa. A shed and nata. Liga bara. Can we travel? Ah. Oh, where can we travel? Oh, where can we travel? Sadisa. Abantelia. And no. And no for the spiritual. The spiritual weakness. And no for the noise of that devil. Ayaka kupai. Betete tutaya. 
and the leku barakwa ayada da 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 ya ka leke de gala gavana to de leke ele leke de gavana ta ya aya bala ka bala bala tonya ele tu abara let te 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 while he was praying the counter now of his vision was altered we have not prayed anything you are already tired there is no other yet no change of remedy some of you your dream will be changed ah ibaka dosh rabatenia reto zavina rate kotokotia ayabala kakina ba ayagabala kato ayabala bala ko reto la bandoria ente kataya ba asha 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 the bible says holy men spoke because holy ghost carried them all day you pray to the essence you are carried then we are yet to pray who have not been carried ayaba koba ya eshete binata ya eleke de giata ah 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 God we raise Take the path that we pray Oh my God Ah Let the Kaaba Laka to Soto Let the Gilata You don't need anyone to encourage you You just need to launch all You just need to apply your will Apply force I know you are giving up You are already tired but no There is a place in Zion We are supplies I am Balakombekai The land of Finataya ayanda <laughs> Ayao <laughs> Hey! Hey! Ibantaya Kalia Ashada Barut Ero 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 Enough of weakness Shake up yourself Enough of weakness He said that you shake Shake up yourself Break the bands Break the bands Aka Takai Elete Kekakakupe Elete 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 Exercise your spirit As we mantle As we gain our sadness As we mantle of this money as we march up this morning, I plan to make it. The people do the baratuke. The people do the balabala. Come in, the people. The people do the balabala. 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 No, 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 Emmanuel, all the world is calling on you. Oh, can we call on Emmanuel? Can we call upon the great one? Oh, unto him that he has rest prayer, shall all flesh call upon. I don't know who we are calling upon, but this morning we will call upon the great one, Shalaka, the letter Katayamaha, the Lebaratwa Kababa. Ah, 
akai doba rade dede dada ya baba ba eshada lakada iko eraba dona taya dede leko leko barwata ayaba tovina ashade gelia aiko barwata leke deniata ayede deniata ya leke dinata ya aya nisho you are grooming in the holy ghost asuzivi likaradwa Tetadiata, Ayavala Baba Malada, Yagadegadiata, Akako Kukutina, Taya, the letter Tatia, Taya, can we cry the atmosphere machine the celebrate what I'm a higher wow Lego Zatia Abandila also 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 Ah, ah, oh, 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 the head I went to the prophet. I told the prophet, he said the child has gone to bed, but there is no sleep. My brother, God has said, God has said, God has said, oh my God, Abandon my Kate, Lever Rapuataya, who have gone to bed, but there is no sleep, who have come for delivery, but there is no sleep. Can we get a sweat? I am a Tayako Beletta, let your leg. Kabarakwata, Baya Baba Balatanda, the Legadea, Balataya, the Shegelet, the Rato Baratwa, Ayaka Kaka, the Letta Teliata, the Lebaratwa, Ah, 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 
My brother, shake up yourself. He went again. He pressed a second time. Oh, can we press? Akai Lofania, the Legendaria, the Great One called the God to our city. Oh, Aya. Ah, 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 men that will travel. Ah, they went further again. They press. They went further. Can we go further? Beyond our our familiar ground. Can we go beyond our familiar ground? As individual, you can press beyond that level. No, as a heart. Oh my God, oh my God, the press because of the burden of the territory. Oh my God, can Holy Ghost lay hold on you? Can you allow the Holy Ghost to lay hold on you? On your vessel, on your vessel. Ah, ah. But we know not what we ought to pray. But when the Holy Ghost lay hold, the Spirit pray it. Can you allow the Spirit to pray? Oh, young man, allow the Spirit. Young woman, allow the Spirit. Avantina, Ikopai. Let it take Kokakina. Rabba, Deni, Ataya. Ayandaya. 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 Ah. 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 Are you not tired of the killing in the territory? Are you not tired of the ranting of the devil? Ashanda Barote Vinatai, a Sedina Taya Balata, a Kedina Tayaka. Oh, there is a blessing, Zion. We are men are gluted. There is a blessing, Zion. We are men are mantled. Oh, can you mount over Ashanda Barote? Ele kaka ka, ele varada bana kube, ele gedina taya baba ha, ashanda ratwa ka, ele tete bina taya, aya da 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 balata. In the next ten minutes, can we lift up the atmosphere? Can we lift up the atmosphere? Ashanda lata, for we are the glad gathering. They are the rain we fall, rain we fall. The rain of revival, it will fall on us. The rain of encounter, the rain of divine visitation, avatai lo bania eke de nataya eletu ataya elata banataya. Can our prayer be enough to open the border for the rain, to open the heavens for the rain? Ah, ah. Ishaba kumbi kai, elifandi li kai, ratu mbarata ya, aya berake, eretu zarandi filite, eribili ya kumba kitaite, edadando kumina kai, aya ba kovelea, aya balatombe de 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 bele kubalata, aya balakonde bread water, araba tosa baba, arata tete kiliata, akabando belatwa ya, aya balatwa ta, ele 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 ele. 
For how long? For how long shall we dwell in darkness? Can this city see light? For dead that dwell in darkness, in the shadow of life, the death is in light that shine forth. Can light shine forth? Oh, Ayabakada, Esediba Nakabinako, Ibarata Baratwa, Edegina Tayaba, Eledegelekinata, Endegina Tayaka, Eletwa, 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 my God, my God, Esazina, Elea, Elea. Can we press for the next ten minutes? Can we, can we gear up now? Can we gear up now? As soon as Taya, Lord, you will cause an activation. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Out of this meeting, you will cause, you will cause the activation that we make. Ground has been lost to the darkness to be restored. Can you cry? Can you cry? Ah, ah, ah. Wherever you are, can we cry? And so now, I am a latter. I am a valuable God. And so so, I am a valuable God. I am a valuable God. I am a valuable God. There is a God. Ekakata, Eleteliata, Evelitaya, and some of us who have been given the mandate to mankata. But we are joking, not again. Can we wake up? The Bible says, Awake, awake, and Christ shall give you strength. Awake, 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 oh weary, awake, Satan region, awake, Arusia, awake. Let the people of the Lord cry. He said, Let the minister, let them go before the altar, let them weep. Oh, a battle, a my God, my God, no, 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 can we sit Hey. We have eight minutes. Jack the atmosphere up. Can we jack the atmosphere up? Fire is coming into this house. Fire is coming into this house. Fire comes. Fire comes. Fire comes. Fire comes. No, don't be left out. Fire comes. Fire comes. Oh, I can't hide. Not again. He will say, I will call like the refiner fire, and I will sit upon. God will sit upon. We are at those. We are at the test. It's in the last day, that day of the great peace. The great one showed up. He said, Let it at test go. Let it at test go. Oh, wow. He can't go. Parando Catatite, a letter de Balabala, Cadina Tabala, a Chambrato Villa, Ayaba Lata, a little, a little, can we pass as the Via Pante, as the Via Pante, so my so far, can you allow a Pante, a Pante, a Pante, a Pante of the Spirit, a Pante, a Pante, let there be a Cupanata, a Sosatina, a Latua Cabalata, as the Via Pante, as the Via Pante, can we as the dear part, so my soul, we are at those that love. Oh, we are at those that love. He said, let the thirsty heart, let them come and drink. The fountain has opened. Can men drink now? He said, oh, can men drink now? Oh, but oh, it's shot. 
He said, Don't be filled with we are, we are his essence, but be a drunk in the Holy Ghost. We are not those that will be drunk in the Holy Ghost. Oh my God, oh my God, as I move, I let me a coma vara for the dead, the land of Pagina Kaba, Ayaba Rope, the Leticia Yakavia, and Pagina Kobele Kaba, Ayaba Latayaba, who say withdraw, withdraw, you are permitted to withdraw, but it's in the Holy Ghost. This is how we get drunk. It's in the Holy Ghost. Over the Levica to it, the Lambra to Pagina Taya, the Lele. Let the hand of God, let the hand, let the hand descend. Oh my God, let the Nina Namala to be Rapa, and Sadina Taya Balaba, and Rapuata Bakaya, and Sadina Taya, the letter de Gadaya, Ayata Kabala Taya. Hey, fire is coming, fire is coming. Can we press a little? Ah, Lea, 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 Shala, <laughs> This is a prophetic gathering, my dear, my dear, that is a call. Rock of a tight to man, a day of a rat, a leg at the yata. We are at the song, we are at the daughter of Sire. Oh, I'm on the letter of the Belletto. Ah, he calls, he calls. Ah. Leduna Kavia, Lobar Nande Beka, Ayanda Barat Wabaya, Elegate Dinataya, Horotete de Dinataya, Agabaru Tea, Arata Radwa, Eshata Banga Village, Elegata Barata, the Cops, the Cops, the Cops, the Cops, you will not be left out. No, 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 you will not be left out. For that is an ordination, you will not be left out. You have been implicated by this call. Ayataya, for stepping in. You have been implicated. Ayataya, everyone will return with a seat. Everyone will return with a seat. You will return with a weapon. And you will put down that. Ayanda Finata. Meshala, Roto Bakata. Ayada Dada Bakakika. Ayada Dada Dada Dada. Can we press a little? Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. Ow. Oh, a letter, that is a weight. That is a weight that we call it. Can we press a little? A weight we call it. A weight we call it. Ow. Let the kakaka. Le paraku tete. Is an apa lataya. A legged in a fire. A legged yata. In our days. And in our time. No. Ow. Oh, a letter. We are at the air stars. We are at the money kayas. Can we travel? Oh, ah, in the Vinataya, in 
Jose Oti, until I rose, they have the mother in Israel. The highway we are unoccupied. The highways, the highways, they were unoccupied. Fire passed by the way. The highways, the highways of the east, they are unoccupied. The highways of our nation, they are unoccupied. Not again. Abai, Kabanata, Esenanata, Balata. We are the those that we have been. We are the those that will be assigned to the highways, to the highways. Oatai, Abatea, let one. Cover and let the camera on the eye. The border, you can put your name. You are rising, you are rising. I rose here and we are rising. Oh, the torch is rising. On band and the guy, a young Kakoba Nataya, a letter in Nataya, a Kakadina Kabaha, a shredder in Nataya, a letter of a tie, a Yandu Kumanada, a Lebai Laka, a Baratwa, a Lea Lea, a Lea Lea. Oh, my God. Can we pray a little more? Pante seba baba kambri la kame Sahima kambrata kaiko pampe Aika pampe la kake ka pakupa la dia Asepe pente sa kapuria Aika pam 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 Can we lay hold on the presence of God a little more? I say kope, I say kope, I say kope Oh my God! Ayaya! I can break up Baba 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 Swap, I said, 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 I said,
Why was they important? They brought it to the spirit for him to come up here. Can we go now? There is something that is about to erupt in this place. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! There is a dynamo of the spirit. Oh! When you are here, I here, you are here, Hey, when you are here, when you are here, when you are here. Can you lay hold on something? I am I am Can we drop it a little more? Hey, 
meeting that we've come to. It's a territorial matter. It's a territorial matter. Ah, and I will show you as we take a shot from the word of God that there is a cry from heaven. Who shall I say? Who shall I say? Are you the one? Are you want the one to come? Or should we wait for another? Are you the one to come? Are you the one we send from eternity? Because I'm not living your life without putting is a sign that they need to be a change of ordination. I'm an assembly. Jeremiah chapter 12. Jeremiah chapter 12. I read four and five, three verses. And then we pray. Please I'm bring it down. Jeremiah chapter 12. How long shall the land mourn and the herbs of every field wither? For the wickedness of them that dwell therein, the beasts are consumed and the birds, because they say we shall not see our last end. How long shall our land mourn? How long, how long shall the land mourn? Verse 5 says, It thou has run with footmen and they have wearied thee. Then how can start contend with horses? Hey. And if in the land of peace, hey. wherein thou trusted, hey. the waters, the weary thee, then how will thou do in the swelling of Jordan? I'll jump to verse 11. They have made it desolate and been desolate. It's morning unto me. The whole land is made desolate because no man lay it to heart. That's the burden. The whole land. He lays desolate, not because there is a big devil out there, because no man lay to heart. Payankopa, no man lays the matters of their hand at heart. No man lays it to heart. The land is desolate. Even the grass is in our territory. They cry out to God for redemption. How long shall we wait for day that are called the sons of men? How long shall we wait for day that are to come? The grasses are crying. The birds are crying. Everything in our territory mourns. Because it's a bad day. It's a bad day. He says, because no man lay it to heart. No man lays it to heart. Today we are going to carry the matter of our territory on our heart and appear before God. We are going to carry that heart as we appear before God. We are going to carry it to heart. In the next five minutes, we are going to hold the hands of your neighbor. And we are going to say, Lord, this state in most state touch down in most state touch down the campuses let your fire let there be an intervention let there be something supernatural can we pray 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 let there be something supernatural touch down 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 the grass of the fields they are with God they are with God our land mourns out to God our land it mourns it cries it cries for the desolation upon it but no man lays it to heart can we cry 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 can Itogala sobe rimande ya babala is ababokoya. 
Vana alante ke moseli, vuna alaite, variko maske boris, vana alai kabobo konka, kata mambe belis, eru vana, vana konga, inta kakamba sa, mante kaba, is babara kambi, is kepere munda velata, lika kapa kapa, ibras ke menaba, irapa baba bas, is kapara be Meseli, rabe bokomba, ande kalambe kasko benate, rapa pa pa pa, sheke bokomba benata, like ke pona selis, ropa pa pe kai ke talata, ande ke te kanata, ambres balata kai, re po 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 po, sheke pora mena kalate, les peri kama, ake ate komba balata, iska para kalate kai eto. Luska Peris, Luska Papa, Ud Papa Valata, Manda Kaleko Pres, Arabe Keata, Aras Kopela, Lua Dada, Ash Baraka Lata, Ante Kepo, Menis Valas, 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 Ai Ukaka, Ukaka, Abi Kupeta, Kamada. Oh, it will do you good to forget about the time in this place for Jesus his time limit was until until and so whatever he presses into and touches he will not stop until the fashion of his countenance is altered until 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 Jesus will not stop until until We have a watch to look at, but Jesus' watch was until, until it will be quiet. No matter how long it takes, until I know you have a time to look at, but Jesus doesn't. Look at his time was until, and he will not stop until, until. Yeah, 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 yeah
for 10 hours but forget the time and wait until until
Emmanuel, all the world is calling your name. Emmanuel, will you come again? Uh, Emmanuel, help us to see your holy face. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, every man is calling your name. Emmanuel, ah, Emmanuel, oh, 
Ah, Emmanuel. All the world is calling your name. Emmanuel. Will you come again? Emmanuel. All the world is calling your name. Emmanuel. Will you come again? Emmanuel. Help us to see your holy face. Emmanuel. Get the 
we cannot worship on our own. Jesus, take over you. Oh, come up here. Jesus, take over you. It is the spirit that quickened it. The flesh profited nothing. Jesus, take over you. Jesus, take over you. Jesus take over oh ya de la viga na maria de lena Jesus take over ni vaga hanale Kunga kale mo compre masele fanate compa insisto no se que no ama Jesus poco paita insisto no se que no ama Insist on no se que no ama. It is your spirit of providence. take over it is the spirit that quickened the flesh profited nothing quicken us oh god but oh no poco kai and we will call upon your name ita papa ta te 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 poco ti ha and e to go We cannot wait. 
Jesus. We cannot wait on our own. On our own. On our own. We cannot wait on our own. He gave a guy a belief in the God. Kelvana veli amoriane veli lagayane adele diayamo.
when you are here oh we la ka ka pa da 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 ma na ta ya o ri ama na ka ye le be lo pa ma ma na na mi be be pa ma ni ka ya bo la da 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 o when you are here oh hey when you are here oh when you are here oh kadamo selema when you are here oh 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 hey when you are here oh oh when you are here oh now king of glory when you are here oh When you are here oh When you are here oh Fira na daga yo di bilele mana bani When you are here oh the beginning When you are here oh When you are here oh When you are here oh Sickness disappear When you are here I am bo 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 When you are here Sickness is up here When you are here oh da 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 ba da 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 When you are here oh Yeah When you are here oh Yeah Oh Yeah When you are here oh
tread on the holy path. Spirit, you're my way. Oh, I tread on the holy road. Spirit, you're my way. I tread on the holy road. this atmosphere anywhere you are can you lift up your two hands the prophetic unction comes into this building the Lord is beginning to touch men and women with the prophetic oil now there are about 13 people the hand of the prophet God will commission them to speak his word God will put his word in their mouth and I see the angel of God removing the garments of people and putting upon them the priestly garments. Can you lift up your hands? Lord, show me these ones that you are ordaining into your prophetic work. Can your hand begin to come upon them now? Holy Ghost, let your hand come upon them. A fresh anointing of the prophetic comes into the territory. Now let that unction come. There are 13 people in this hall. 13 of you. A clothing is coming upon you. Ushers, can you get ready? I see the angel of the Lord removing garments from people and clothing them. Now help them. Help them. 13 of them. The hand of God is coming upon them now. There is a strong atmosphere here. There is a young man. The hand of God is upon you. The fire of God is blazing in your heart. A clothing comes upon you. A clothing of God's presence. Also, be attentive. The hand of God comes upon you. Some of you, you are sensing that out of your belly, a fresh river of fire is arising, is boiling. Can you give the Holy Ghost expression? Can you give the Holy Ghost expression? Holy Ghost. He sent his word into Jacob. It lighted upon Israel.
Lord, let your hand come upon them. Let that 13 people be brought out as I count down from five. Holy Ghost, can you help them? Four. Holy Ghost, Capella come sate. Barus cafeta le manakataya. Barus cafela mandos cate. Yakale protaya. Caraba bate. There are ministers here, you have lost the oil, lost the mandate. The hand of God comes afresh upon you. Capella Tama say, I see a restoration. And I speak that the restoration of God comes afresh back upon your life. Holy Ghost, have your way. Three. Two. One, Holy Ghost. Let your hand be strong now. Let your hand be strong. 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 Ushers, can you bring them out? Let your hand be strong. 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 Holy Ghost, the fresh unction of his word comes into the territory. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. A clothing is going on. That is a clothing. The Holy Ghost, the angels of God are clothing. Man, I see a change of garments. I see a change of garments. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. You sent your word into Jacob. And it lighted upon Israel. You have chosen to remember our territory again. Amoke Bale, Kabos Kavina Taleba, Suka Frena, Omelakando Sate. A new, brand new prophetic functionaries will be released from this meeting this afternoon. A fresh oil comes into the territory so that men can be carriers of God's voice. God's voice. Akome Sakemala. There's an evangelist I'm looking for here. As a young man, you are an evangelist. The hand of God is coming upon you. You will carry his word into territories. Lord, reveal these words. Lord, show me that evangelist. Holy Ghost. And priestesses of the altar, the Lord will raise priests, priestesses. A new garment comes into the territory. Jesus, Kavaluka Mekavalapaya. What we need to unseat that devil is an atomic bomb from the Holy Ghost. Kate Usake. Bring that evangelist. Bring him. You cannot hold him. God will touch his tongue. Lord will touch his tongue. He will take the war to territories. The Lord said, Commission him. There are three prophets. You are sisters. The hand of God comes upon you where you are. I command that river to flow. I command that river to flow within you. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. We come this day to activate, to activate ordinations. You send your word into Jacob. You are standing there, the word of God is coming to you. 
and he lightened upon Israel. In between Jacob and Israel is the word of God. Lord, send your word into the territory. Send your word. Oh, that you might find us worthy to pay your word to the ends of the earth. Our territory will not be left out. When Jesus appeared on the scene, it was that time the land of Zebulun, the land of Naphtali rejoiced. Coppola, there's one other sister I'm waiting for. I stare the river. I stare the river. The land of Zebulun. The land of Naphtali. By the way of the sea. Beyond Jordan. Galilee of the Gentiles. The people that dwelt in darkness. They have seen a great light. To them that dwell in the region. And in the shadow of death. To them has light sprung up. Lord send your war. Send your war. Kamo sekave. Vera kambe sato. Lakema sate la breske. I hear God saying that some people will be commissioned with sight. They will see in the spirit. That's one of the threats of the outpouring. He said, your young men, your young women, they shall see visions. I see the hand of an angel touching men's eyes. Lord, reveal those ones now. The visionary generation. The eyes that will see what you are doing in the territory. The eyes that will see your movement in the land. Lord commission the seeing eyes the hearing ear the Lord had made them both mechanism will operate on you where you are standing it's a strategic meeting. I, ministers will be raised in this place. Champions of God in the territory. Lord, we are the men of sight, women of sight. There are people, the Lord, the angel of God is washing their eyes now. Lord, where are they? Let your hand come upon them. Let their eyes be opened. Let the veil be taken away. Let the veil be rolled away. Let the veil be rolled away. I declare from my right to my left, let the veil be rolled. Let the veil be rolled. Let the veil be rolled. Over our weary, let the veil be rolled. Help him. Oh, yeah, make a make a bella. The anointing of God is strong in this house. The atmosphere is tense. A stirring of a river is going on in the spirit. There's a stirring. There is a stirring. Some dead gifts, gifts that have died, the Lord will wake them up again. Mandates and ordinations that have entered the cooler, God will raise them up again. I see some ministers in this house. You have lost, you have lost the first mantle. And God said, I will restore it. I will restore it. And the Lord will commission you and send you back to your regions, to your territories to do damage to the kingdom of the darkness. The anointing of the evangelist comes upon you. Receive an overdose. Receive an overdose. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. You sent your word into Jacob and he lighted upon his life. When you speak, destinies are changed. We hunger and wait for your word for the territory. That your word once more would distill upon us. Your word once more will be like waters in a dry and thirsty land. Speak to us. Let your word lighten upon this land once again. And let it bath the Israel of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. You may be seated, recover your state. God bless you. Find your seat if you have one. And let's go to the word of God. I'll have to crave your permission to reserve the introductions to a later time in the meeting time we'll have our father in the house we can be able to take some introduction so but anywhere you're seated you are welcome whether you are a pastor an apostle evangelist and you lead a congregation you are welcome to the house of God this is the remnant Christian network 10 hours program and the theme of our for this month is the territory and the prophetic intelligence. I don't know the burden that the Lord had laid in our Father's heart for this afternoon. So I would want to maintain course in what the Lord has laid in my heart so that we can be able to give room and accommodate the burden in the heart of our Father because it is clear to us in our time not just in Nigeria but the eastern region as a whole and Imo State is the heartland of this enclave that the emphasis on the territory has waned and a lot of things that we do as regarding ministry has just been for ourselves and for just our members and the burden of the territory has been lost and I announce to you that even if there are prophetic gifts in the body of Christ where we can be able to speak thus here the Lord to edify ourselves there is a word for the land and that word is beyond just gifts of prophecy that word can only come from a man of stature that can bring the word of God into a territory. And it's only those kind of capacity words that can move the territory. It takes men. Maintain my volume. Don't give me a high for me. I will also crave your indulgence to put your phone on silent mode so that we can be able to concentrate and take shots from the word of God. Ushers, let's minimize the moving around, please. Amen. So why we are here is not because we want to look at your faces. We are here because we want to find a way to link to the strong room, the control room of the monarch of Zion so that his word can come into the territory. It's only by his word that we can change the land. A time comes when your gifts will fail you our gifts, our corporate gifts as individuals will fail us to move things in the territory. And when it has come to that time, Imo State has come to that time where we need the word of God as a weapon to change the course of events in the territory. And you and I are implicated in this venture so that God can have a voice in the land. 
that you organize a program and call it relevant ministers does not make you relevant in the 10 hours program we don't make apologies so when you come and you are seated, I want you to strap your seat belt because we want to take a cruise. Even if there is a, 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 a cutting in your heart, we believe there's a comforter that can heal. The Bible says, there's no balm in Gilead. Why is the wounds of my people not recovered? So when you are here, whether you are a church leader, we respect and love you. But when the word of God comes, it comes in its raw state so that lives can be transformed. We celebrate you. But we will give heed to the word of God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Matthew chapter 11. If you have your pen and jotter. There's still a jump on this mic. Lower it. Yes. There's a little jump. Matthew chapter 11 from verse 2. I will press a little on the team of this program when our father comes he will take it beyond this point but if you have a bible you have a pen and a jotter please make do of them can somebody raise these lights up please if you can control it just help me i don't know those who control it just you can place up there matthew chapter 11 verse 2 now when john had heard in the prison the works of christ he sent two of his disciples and said unto him, Art thou he that shall come, or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which you do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear the dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them and blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me verse 7 and as they departed Jesus began to say unto the multitudes concerning John what went he out into the wilderness to see a reed shaking with the wind but what went he out for to see a man clothed in soft raiment. Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in king's houses. Verse 9. But what went he out for to see? A prophet? Yea, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. Verse 10. For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face which shall prepare thy way before thee. Hallelujah. A time came when Jesus was giving perspective to the life and ministry of John. And this was a way to bring endorsement to his prophetic ministry. The first encounter was when Jesus was going to be baptized. And in the ceremony of the baptism, the Bible declared that heavens opened. And a voice spoke. The father spoke and said, this is my well-beloved son in whom I am well pleased. John was there. And John said, I'm not I'm, I will not baptize you. How can I baptize my Lord? Jesus said, suffer it so to be now to fulfill all righteousness. John was blazing at that time. John was a functionary that was at the pinnacle of his expression. The Bible said multitude went into the wilderness to see him. And at that time, Jesus was the one that was being hidden. The Bible said as he came out from that service, the Spirit of God drove him into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. At that time, Jesus was going through process. John was at the pinnacle of his expression. Crowd and multitude took John. And then the next thing that we heard about Jesus talk about John. The next time he spoke about John because if somebody baptizes you and commissions you, it's common and ordinary for you to talk about the person. It's very common for you to once in a while mention the person. But Jesus did not talk about John the Baptist for a while. And the next
next time that Jesus began to talk about John, it was not just to bring a perspective of, of John's ministry, it was to bring some form of endorsement to John the Baptist. And Jesus was going to do it in front of the multitudes. Jesus was going to bring an endorsement. A time comes when Jesus will have to speak about you. A time comes in your ministry when Jesus will have to pedestal you and endorse your ministry. It's not the time, the kind of things that we do in our time. Where men are endorsing themselves. Where men are launching themselves. Jesus had to speak about John. And I want us to show us some few things because it will form the basis of our prayers as we seek to understand what is it that concerns God in our time as regarding the prophetic ministry. Because John is going to be a typical example to us. I strongly believe that God will commission young men and women. That amen sounds weak. If you believe it is you that God will commission, I want the amen to sound strong. So what did Jesus do? If you read the verses I read from verse 2, Jesus now raised a questionnaire. And in that questionnaire, that was in verse 7, the Bible said, and as they departed, Jesus began to say to the multitude concerning John, what went he out to the wilderness to see? Jesus to endorse John the Baptist, John the prophet, raised a questionnaire. And that questionnaire says, what went he out to the wilderness to see? It was a good questionnaire. Because at that time, many people did not know what John was. Many did not understand the kind of ministry that John was pioneering. Some call him the Messiah. Some were calling him Elijah. Even at a point, some people called him the demoniac because they said he came eating and drinking. They said he was the demoniac. So it was as if there was a mixture upon who John was. And remember, when John came into the scene, it was, it was a time that we can call a, 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 a long spiritual silence. After the prophetic age, there was no mention of God in the land or in the territory. Men did as it pleased them. So from Malachi to the time of Jesus was 400 years of silence. So John came into limelight when it was difficult to discern what God was doing from what God was not doing. So John's ministry was, was, was kind of a complicated issue because he came at the time when there was silence everywhere. Now that we speak in tongues and we know God, if somebody comes and starts bringing perspective to the Holy Ghost, I think you will link up. You will know what he's saying. But at the time that John came into the scene, there was darkness in the territory. So when John came in, nobody could understand what he was doing. They said, we don't know whether he's the Messiah. We don't know whether he's a teacher. We don't know whether he has come to restore the kingdom to Israel again. And we don't even know whether he's a demoniac because this is not how a child Elijah behaved. He came neither eating nor drinking. They called him a demon. So Jesus was raising a strong questionnaire. And Jesus said, what went he out to the wilderness to see? It was a questionnaire. Number one, that questionnaire was raised not to the disciples. The questionnaire was raised to the multitude. If you look at verse 7 again. And as they departed, Jesus began to say unto the multitude concerning John. Now, I want to believe that if Jesus wanted to talk about a man that is under controversy, a man that we cannot be able to identify what he's doing. I, I expected that Jesus should be able to take us in-house. Maybe he should, he can start with the disciples. He can take them to a quiet corner and say, can I tell you who John is? Can I tell you this? But Jesus brought it out to the multitude. Many a times when there is problem in a ministry, it is more easier to handle it in the closet. So that if there's a correction to be made, we can make it in the closet so that it doesn't come out. And the first time that Jesus was bringing endorsement to the ministry of John, it was to the multitude. The emphasis of this statement is that majority of you run ministry and what you run ministry is that you don't care about the territory. And most of us operate with an ideology that what men think about me does not matter. But guess where the questionnaire that Jesus raised about John was raised? In front of the multitude. So if you're living your life and pioneering ministry and the way you're running it is that I don't care what people think. 
Only Jesus has ordained me. Jesus is the master. I report to him. So what the people say do not matter to me. I think you may need to look at the example of Jesus. The questionnaire was raised to the multitude, not to the disciples. Not kept in house, but to the multitude. So the example of Jesus to us is that when you pioneer God's work, the territory, the people, we are not just accountable only to God. We are accountable to the people. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, we are accountable not just to God alone. We are accountable to the people. The Bible speaking about Jesus said the child grew, was strong in spirit and was in favor with God and man. There is, there is a loss in our ministry because we have only had favor with God but not favor with men because we think that it doesn't matter. We run our ministry like Jesus. So some of your endorsement will not just be in-house. Some of the endorsement of your ministry will be with the multitude. So part of the endorsement that God will endorse you as a man of God, as a prophet of God, as an apostle, will not just be in-house, where they will pour oil on you quietly, just like they did to David. Samuel took him in-house and they poured oil because Samuel was fearing for his life. A time will come for God to endorse you what the people say. God will endorse you. Raise a questionnaire before the multitude. So don't live your life with an emphasis, thinking that the multitude does not count. That is one emphasis. The second emphasis was where Jesus brought, when he brought the endorsement. Verse 2. Verse 2 says, Now when John had heard in the prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples. It means that the time that Jesus brought this endorsement, John was no longer on stage. John was in prison. Is that not the wrong time to endorse a man? I know you're quiet. We want to look at Bible. <laughs> we want to look at Christ. Because sometimes I think the way we run ministry on this part of the world is that we look at men and how they are patterning ministry. Am I right? You, 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 you go online and you copy one big man of God. And as you copy him, you bring it into your territory and expect that that God of that man will work for you. And we don't find how Jesus did endorsement. Jesus did not speak about John when he was on the stage. He was a voice, the Bible said a voice crying in the wilderness. And then it wasn't just a few handful of people that went to the wilderness. It was multitude. So how come the time multitude were trooping to John in the wilderness? How come it was not that time that Jesus came and said, can I, can I talk about that man? It's easy for us to talk about men because they are on stage. Can I talk to you this morning? It's easy to talk about a man you see on YouTube and you go and check his viewership. Oh my God, when they go to YouTube, you see that 10,000 people are following him. It's, it's easy for us to endorse him as a man of God. Is that not our style and, 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 and pattern? That's our style. And then young men, instead of young men to grow organically and let God raise them, take his time to work on them. Young men are thinking because we endorse them based on YouTube, because we endorse men on Facebook, they chase that more. Looking for endorsement. But Jesus endorsed John right from the prison. He never spoke about him when the man was on stage. He waited until the man was in prison. Is that not an antithesis? Is that not the wrong time to talk about him? <laughs> but we need to copy that. Sometimes the time the Lord will commission you might not be the time you are here. Young man, can I announce to you? Young woman, you are waiting until you hold the mic. For you to show yourself. The time you are showing yourself on stage may not be the time God is commissioning you. God will commission you in the dark places where nobody knows you. God will commission you when in that your room you cry to the Holy Ghost and say, Lord, it's you I know. And then God will begin to put some oil and some ordination in your life. Majority of the things happening in your life today did not happen because you were behind the stage. They happened in the dark places. In the time that when men knew you not, that's when God decided to put an oil on you. He comes when you are, that time nobody knows you. Even if you plan a program and you decorate it like this place and then you announce it so much and even post it on Facebook, that day rain will fall, nobody will come. Because it's not the time of your revelation. Because Jesus has not chosen to reveal you like that. Many men were revealed like that, but the devil cut them down. 
because they did not rise from within. Jesus will endorse you when you are not on stage. So can we leave the stage alone? I know you are annoyed, but here we don't do apologies. The time he raised the questionnaire about John was when John was in prison. His case was hopeless in prison because John knows that the next day his neck was going off. He was not assured of the next day. He was going to be cut off. And then that was when Jesus came. Can I announce to you, young lady, the Lord begins to visit you in your quiet time. The Lord begins to visit you when you find him in the close places. Nobody knows you. Even the fellowship leader does not recognize you. They, they have never given you mic ever before. But can I tell you, that's when God comes and puts oil on men. Find him in the secret place. Find him in a secret place. That's where he raises men. Your endorsement is not when on stage. Today we have changed the calibrations. We are bringing the prophetic intelligence so that we can go back to the original manuscript where God raised men from the secret place. It was when John was in the prison that Jesus began to speak highly of him. because you have a gift you are waiting for the mic to show men that you are endorsed <laughs> oh my god <sighs> the day God anointed David it's not my teaching for today the day God anointed David there were three caliber of men that did not sit down eh? and those caliber of men represented what the Lord said in the prophecy of Joel chapter 2 verse 28. He said in the last days I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters will do what? Number one. Number two. Old men shall do what? Number three. There were three functionaries mentioned there. The day David was anointed this same tripology this same tripod manifested. There was a prophet that did not sit down. His name was Samuel. Samuel said we will not sit until he comes. So Samuel represented the prophet. There was another man in that service called Jesse. Jesse was the older generation. He could not sit down. I don't care whether he was 100. Samuel said nobody sits down. Jesse represented the old generation. There was also another group of people that were there. Eliab and his brothers. They were young men. They were warriors. And Samuel still looked at them and said, you will not sit down. It is not my message for today. Those same three typology were there. The tripod. God will uncover you from the prison house where nobody knows you. You might be there today crying and say nobody recognizes you. It's as if you are not known anywhere. Can I announce to you, your greatest endorsements will come men when, when men refuse to look at you. When it's as if every man de de denies you. When it's as if nobody decides to look at your face. You know what you carry. But it's as if anytime you want to showcase it, there is no endorsement. Can I announce to you, stay in the secret place. Stay where? In the secret place. That is where God endorses man. The word of God will locate you in that your quiet time. And then as you're crying in the night, one day nobody hears. God comes and speaks into the aeons of time. Into five years, ten years. And tells you what he's going to do through your life. And if you pattern your life according to that thing he has said. I am telling you, you will arrive at where God is taking you to. We have changed the mathematics. That's why our society has become the way it is. We celebrate men because of YouTube. We celebrate men because of Facebook. We do everything to increase our viewership. Apostle, we pay money to increase our viewership. If you have ever done that here, can I see your hand? We are spiritual now. We, we do many things. You know why? Because we think that social media is the way to show yourself. Jesus began to speak about him even in the prison. That's number two. Number three was that Jesus began to bring endorsement to a man. You know, I wonder the kind of man that John the Baptist was. This man was going to die tomorrow. This man knows that by morning his neck was going to be off. 
But this man could still ask, are you the one we are expecting? Or should we wait for another? This was what we have waited for for 400 years. This was what made God initiate John the Baptist into the ministry of the Nazarite. No razor should touch his hair. He should not drink any strong drink. This was what the angels have been waiting for. And Jesus shows up on the scene. And John, who labored in the wilderness, who saw heaven open, John could still say, are you the one? Now, I want to ask a question. If John has done great things, ministered in the wilderness, and then suddenly Jesus comes up on the stage, is, this, is it not natural for John to just retire? If, it's, if the answer is yes, can I hear yes? Because he will say, the person I want to introduce, because he came as a forerunner. He came to introduce Jesus. So immediately Jesus came on stage, it was natural for John to say, now good day, thank you, bye bye, and finish my work, and then he will go and hide. But guess what? Right in the prison yard, John did not mind to ask that question, because John was willing to redo that thing again. John said, I wouldn't mind redoing waiting for another one if you are not the one we don't know what you are doing it shows you that i don't know the caliber of man that john is that despite that he was in prison he said i don't mind whether we have waited 400 years i can afford to wait more until the right person comes this was how accurate they were this was how accurate men of that time were john did not care whether he was going to die the next day i'm not sure john was saying that he was in prison inside his spirit John was free because a man that will have been killed the next day do, does not have the vocabulary to say should we wait there's no waiting in the in the matter of John a man on death row waiting should not come into his lingo are you hearing me now he cannot he has no capacity because he's dying so he will have told the disciples just pray for him and support him but he said I'm willing to wait for another I am willing. Now, where am I heading to? Where I'm heading to is that, why did Jesus raise this questionnaire? Because that's where our emphasis is. We want to look at the content of the questionnaire. It was tendered to the multitudes. We understood the context. Jesus spoke that. Raised the questionnaire. It was a time when John was in prison. So we need to understand why did he raise that endorsement? So what was the questionnaire again? Verse 7. And as they departed, Jesus began to say to the multitude concerning John, what went he out to the wilderness to see? So the questionnaire was what? What went he out where? If you are with me, can we say it together? The questionnaire was what? What? That was the questionnaire. Why now we to know why Jesus raised that questionnaire? I can go ahead and tell you that the reason why Jesus raised that questionnaire was because Jesus wanted to give us the accurate credentials of what a true prophet should be. So if you're a prophet here, I remember when we say prophet, we're not just saying that, oh, I'm called in the office of a prophet. Any inspired speaking is prophetic. Are you with me? There are people who are called genuinely to be a prophet. There are people who have the gifts of prophecy. There are people who manifest in that office occasionally. But what I want to generalize it to mean this morning is that so long as you are called and you are going to speak for God, we want to make this in a, a total package where so long as you are called to speak for God, you operate in that office of a prophet. So this questionnaire, we're going to touch it a little and then we'll pray. That questionnaire was for Jesus to be able to show us the credentials of a true prophet. So when you are looking for a prophet, an accurate prophet, somebody that is, has a stature to bear the voice of God in a territory, to bear the voice of God to a people, what are the things you should look for? We're going to find it there. So we're going to do our plus or minus to understand that Jesus is saying, this is how I endorse men that can speak for me. This is how I endorse and put my authority in men that can speak for me because we have bastardized in our time is somebody here we have baptized we have bastardized the the the, the, the things that jesus look out for for men he calls prophets 
and we need to go back to what does Jesus look for in a true prophet so in this questionnaire what we are trying to establish is that what are the true credentials of a prophet because for us to bring the prophetic intelligence to the territory we need to find out and do a lot of homework and do some assignment or know is this man or woman a capable voice a chattered voice to speak for God in the territory and that's what we're going to look at and that's why Jesus raised that question here why because he wanted to project John he wanted to use John as a beacon he wanted to use John's lifestyle as a beacon so Jesus raised the question here and the first question in that question here can we look at it again he says and as they departed verse 7 Jesus began to say to the multitude concerning John what went he out into the wilderness to see can we look at the first emphasis he said what don't say what I said I'm saying the first emphasis of Jesus he says a reed shaking with the wind that was a question it wasn't a statement it was just it was a question so Jesus was saying that if you're going to find a prophet anywhere he must not be a reed shaking with the wind somebody say yes sir listen to me Jesus is saying that if you, you are going to be the accurate vessel that will bear the capacity to carry my word to a territory you must not be a reed shaking with the wind so our first consideration I want you to write number one that man that will be the bearer of the prophetic intelligence to a territory must not be a reed what is a reed? help me can somebody give somebody a mic what is a reed? I can hear you. If you if you if you know it, can you raise your hand so that we can help you with the mic? Yeah. Um, fortune. Okay. There's a pastor here. What is a read? Because we want to analyze why Jesus had to use some certain adjectives and metaphors to bring an explanation to the prophetic ministry. Can you tell us? Yes, sir. Let's represent something that is shaken by any kind of wind. Okay. Something that is not stable. I want you to tell us what a reed is naturally because Jesus started to use the metaphor of nature. Nature. Okay, sir. Um, a reed is like a plant. Yes, now that's what I want to hear. Pastor, God bless you. You are right, but we'll get to your own shortly. It's like a plant. You can find it by riverside. You can like it to uh, material for wood, Houses, those. are you in photo? Because see, it's photo people that overdo definition. If you are photo, if you are in photo here, clap for yourself. Because I'm an alumni of photo, so I, I understand. You know, you will give the lecturer his answer, then you will now add some jara into it, so that you can let him know. Ngochindo, is it Ngochindo? Or, or engineer Omoka to know that I, I know matters, I know this matter. He said you can even use it as a thatched thing or for thatched roofs. That is even the clearest expression. How many of you have seen a thatched roof before? You know, in some hotels, you go to their bar, I think one is outside, you see all those slender strands. Huh? That's a read. A relation of mine went to swim with some friends many years ago and then all of a sudden because he was not such a fantastic swimmer the waves got a hold of him and then he said he discovered that he was drowning then suddenly what helped him was that a diver who saw it went into the water and helped him and brought him out so when he was brought out we had to do some interview on him to know what was his experience down there you know some of you here drowning but you don't know the experience down there that man that is drowning at that time is as if everything in fact he's seeing the light and the light is back on him come and nobody can help so we decided to ask him what happened down there he said that he, he was trying to hold himself and he couldn't he discovered that the waves were stronger than him we now ask him is it that he did not see like a rope or a stone to hold hands so that he can maintain stability and then find your way he said don't go there he said he saw some plant things that look like plants. That's, that's where I'm heading to with this read explanation. And then that he tried to hold them. 
You know, sometimes if you are running now, some and this kind of flowers outside, and the wind is blowing you, you can you can actually hold the flower. Am I right now? And then the flower can be able to support you. He said that on that day, the, the waves of the waters were high. He said he was looking for some plants he saw in the water to, to, to hold his hand. But he said that anyone he grabbed, that one will give way. Anyone he holds, that one will give. So he discovered that all those things there were not helpful. So he was just, he resigned to God and said, Lord, if you will not save me now, I'm a gunner. Suddenly he felt a man's hand. The back. Now, those plants, don't, don't be distracted by my drowning man's uh, testimony. Those plants under the water is what we refer to as reeds. They grow beside waters. They grow underneath waters. They grow by what we call the marshlands. Actually, they don't have a root of themselves. Are you there now? They don't have any known root. They are called reeds. In fact, they are organisms of the water. It's just that somehow they found a way to navigate and, and, and prepare their fruit, their food through the water. So, they cannot be relied on. And Jesus was using a plant organism. Anytime Jesus is talking and makes reference to something, to use it to portray a point. Look at that thing again. Look at it again. Jesus is saying that if we can find the characteristics of a reed in you, you cannot be that prophet he's talking about. And our brother said it. I want to say the three characteristics of a reed. Number one is that it's a slender, it's a slender grass. Slenderness means that it is lean. You can never find a reed that is fat. All the reeds that you see, they are slim. It means that they are just slippery. Number one. Number two is that they don't have roots. So, depending on a reed is risky. Depending on a reed is risky. Jesus is saying that for you to be a true prophet, you must have some stature so that even when the waves come, you should be able to bring support. And there are many people who are in this house and at the sound of my voice who actually wants to run with the voice of God. Who say, God anoint me. Give me half a chance. I will take your word to the ends of the earth. But when God comes, there are some real tendencies in their life and that alone disqualifies you. Majority of us are reeds. And reed so is, a, is a kind of a plan that cannot be relied on. So when God comes to a territory, and God is looking for young men and young women to commit his word to. God comes to you and you are just a reed. God cannot trust you. So it means that if the work of God is drowning in an ocean and God is looking for a functionary that he can hold on to to sustain what he's doing in the territory, it means that if you are in that territory, God cannot depend on you. You are a reed. Are you, are you understanding me? It means that if God deploys some functionaries and some angelic hardcore to a territory and then suddenly it's as if there's an attack to what God is doing and then God is saying I think I have man in that territory and God said let's go and look for Joseph and as God comes God wants to use you to hold hand in that territory and then suddenly just like that plant the plant pulls up it means that God cannot depend on you so one of the characteristics of a reed is that God cannot depend on you in a territory are you a reed Are you a reed? Number one, apart from God, not depending on you. Even in the midst of unbelievers. Even in the midst of somebody to stand for God. A contention arises. That is the time you dodge. You are a reed. You are not qualified to bear the voice of God in a territory. Many reeds are in this house. And yet every day we say, God send your word for the territory. So today, this is my session. I'm not talking about the intelligence. When our father comes, he will bring the intelligence. How we can conquer the territory. How you can conquer the territory related to your own calling. Every ordination is launched into a territory. If you don't conquer that territory, your ordination will remain down. Are you hearing me now? And every day you see yourself in the dream, casting out devils in crusade grounds. It never manufactures physically. Why? Because there is an eternity you need to contend with, to overcome it, to be able to launch on. But God is saying that there are many reeds. He cannot count on them. In your office, a contention comes regarding money. And then God needs somebody that will stand up and speak the truth about that money. And you know the truth. But when God comes and wants to hold hands on you, 
you are a reed, you pull up from the root and you say, God, you cannot count on me. You cannot bear the voice of God in eternity because the word of God will be attacked. The accurate word of God will face contention. The devil will want to strangulate an accurate man in a territory. Now the question is that if you are going to be that functionary that will bear the accurate word, can you stand and not be a reed? So in your CV, when you're submitting CV to Jehovah and the monarch of Zion, the first thing that angels are looking for in that CV is, is he a reed? Is there any reed particle in him? So that when we will launch hardcore, bulldozer, things in the territory, we can be able to count that this man will not give way. Job was such a man. Job was such a man. Jesus said, have thou considered my servant Job? He was not a reed. And then the tendency of not being a reed manifested in the life of Job when he said, I know that my redeemer lives. Such a man is not a reed. Even when he had sores on his body, he was wounded because of where he stood. He said, I know. He will stand upon the earth on the last day. I know my redeemer. Esther was not a reed. He stood in the king's presence. He said, if I perish. She said, if I perish, I perish. The woman was not a reed. Young lady, you want God to commission and ordain you. But there are reed tendencies. You are not just, the problem of a reed is not just having a root. The problem of a reed is that it's slender. And slenderness is a, is a slim plant. And when you are slender, even the waves of the water can blow you aside. Every wind of doctrine can blow you aside. Any, any blow, even but a little whisper, you are gone. So the reed is not just a, doesn't have a problem of roots. The reed is also besieged with slenderness. Tell your neighbor, grow stature. That's why God has left you in the wilderness for long. You know why? He wants to convert your slenderness to robustness. That's why your wilderness journey has increased. Because God wants to introduce a root system in your life. That's why sometimes God will tell you, for these seven days, study the word of God every 12 midnight and 1 a.m. And then when you start, you discover that you cannot stop. You start studying it by 3 a.m. You're still, revelations are coming out. You know why? He wants to convert. There's a process going on. A slenderness of a reed is being changed to a robust plant. So that when God comes into that territory, he can count on you. A lot of reed tendencies. I worked in the telecom industry. Some of my colleagues started buying cars and building house. I didn't buy a car. I was only able to afford a Camry. That Camry tiny light, that was what I afforded. But I knew what they were doing. They were milking the contractors and collecting money. And many of the contractors also brought money to me. But I knew that I have the oil of God on my head. How could I do that? So even before you come to their to their sites and say, I want to check because that time our work was QAQC. So when we come into your site, we are checking everything. We'll mark this one bad. Mark that one bad. Mark this one bad. And then at the end of the day, we mark your work bad. And then you are running helter skelter. Bring, sometimes they come to our hotel room to bring money and say, oh God, just pass, pass the site. These are millions of contracts. And they'll bring money. Even sometimes as I'm coming down from my vehicle, they put an envelope in your car. One day I opened the envelope, I saw 100,000. That's many years ago. And then one day I was in my hotel room, I said, God, you want me to go to the nations? This money will convert me to a reed. Apostle, some of this money we collected in government house, it has converted, it shows that we are reed. So when Jesus was raising accurate credential of a prophet, he said, did you go out to the wilderness to see a reed shaken with the wind? Many of you shake. The Bible says, if you fail in the day of adversity, your strength is small. God is talking about people that he can send into territories who can be able to be held on, held accountable to. Can God, can, even in your social work, God cannot count on you. You are a, In fact, you have failed on arrival when you apply for the office of a prophet. You have failed on arrival. Because the angels will announce and say, she is a reed. He is a reed. That money you account now, it was through reed tendencies you collected it. And it has reinforced your position as a reed. And as a reed, as a reed community, no matter how much we pray, we cannot be custodians of accurate gospel. Man of God, are you hearing me? We can, no matter how you pray for God's word to come into a territory, when God weighs the accuracy of what he's bringing, he looks into a territory and all he sees is reeds. 
Some of you in the face of doctrine, you fall. Some of you in the face of accuracy, you fall. Maybe you are a pastor here and then suddenly you got a visa with your wife and you travel to Canada and then you start pouncing on the pulpit and say, man must not marry a man. They will bundle you out. Woman must not kiss. As you are saying kiss, a policeman at the door and they say, oh God, drop the microphone. He will go to the station and tell us. In fact, not just station, they will lock you up. And some people are read to the extent that now they, because they cannot face the heat, they are now, they have become reeds. That's why he told Jeremiah, he said, I will harden your forehead. I will harden. See, let me tell you, you don't understand God. He said, he told Jeremiah, I will harden. Because he knows that the people he's going against are ferocious people. The world system, Babylon that we deal with, is a ferocious system. It has crippled many prophets. When I prayed for this meeting, Lord, show me many prophets have been wounded. And I want to show you that it's the credentials that have made us endangered species in the hand of the devil. Jesus said, he is not a reed. You didn't go out. So he used the illustration and the adjective of a plant, an organic thing called a reed. He said, such a man that can bear my word to a territory. You want to change naked you say every time we pray in naked there, it's as if heaven is closed. It's because God has not found somebody with a credential that has no tendencies. I choose to speak the voice of God. I'm okay, my laser. There I come on Saturday. I prayed one day, prayed and prayed. By 1 a.m., an angel appeared to me. The angel was standing like by that door. As I saw him standing there, that was the first time I was seeing such a thing. I didn't know what I was seeing. I wanted to run away. I couldn't run. So I was transfixed in my position. So I started praying. But I was panicking in that prayer. What was it I was saying? And then the angel kept staying there waiting, looking at me. And then when I now became calm, and the angel also said, they will know, the angels will know your state of mind. When the angel knew that I was now calm, the angel now started walking towards me. And then in the hand of that angel was a lamp. I noticed it. I saw his hand. He was carrying a lamp walking to me. Immediately he got like how many steps away from me? The lamp in his hand changed to a kettle. And the kettle was bringing out hot fumes. As if a boiling kettle. So when he was getting to me, immediately he stood in front of me like this. The angel did not say, open your mouth. My mouth opened of his own accord. And then he poured the whole thing. As he was pouring, I was afraid he was going to burn off my tongue. But as the water touched my tongue, it was, it was distilling. It was, it was warm. And, 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 and was like you know um, smoke and then after emptying it the angel turned walked away and he went and I lost my speaking my speech for three days I now started speaking I was now stammering everybody around me did not know why I was stammering for three days but only myself knew what, I, I, what happened to me after three days my speech came back but I now discovered that when I preach and that's the stammering tendency comes back it's as if prophecy my ears open I start hearing things that's what, that was what changed my ministry. And there are many things God wants to do in the territory like that, where he will come in the night and give you something that your neighbor does not have. But he will have checked you from the machine called the reed checker. I don't know whether there's a machine like that, but there's a reed checker. Eh? There's a, fortune, there's a mechanism called the reed checker. R-E-E-D. When you pass through it, if you don't, ah, you, are, you, have, you will not step aside. They say, go and check some reed things. You are not ready. But you thought that that thing I got was going to help my ministry. I faced lions. God tells you to go and preach to a people. And because you go there and you look at the faces. Let me say that day, commissioner for works came. And then you have prepared something that God has laid in your heart at night to preach. Immediately you came to the stage and you looked and said, Hey, commissioner works here. You change your message. You are a reed. You cannot make a change in a territory. Went to pray for one of the former governors of, of Anambra State at Eko. Eko, Eko Hotel in, in VI. I followed a friend. A friend followed another bigger minister to go and pray for a former governor of Anambra State. I will not say his name. And then we entered. It was when I knew that Eko Hotel had a presidential suit. That was where the man was staying. Some, some strong, strong men were at the door. So when they called them and said yes, they knew I were coming. Three of us now entered the minister. 
the, the, the big minister, my friend, who was his friend, and then me, because he took me along. We entered a presidential suit in the coke. That was when I knew that some pastors need to be prayed for. Because the man that I claimed that was the strong man of God, he was kneeling down before this governor. He was he saying, you know, we, we know, you know, we are praying for you. Must you kneel down to tell him you are praying for him? And then the man was wearing, you know, this uh, night gown, this uh, Aosa kind of gown. And he crossed his leg, looking down on us and said, okay, okay. And he, he told somebody to bring something from the room. It was a bag. Money was in it. But the man of God that was our ogre, he was in front. And, you know, when I was walking behind with them, I was feeling good that I have strong men. It was when we entered there and I saw the man, uh, he was kneeling down. He can preach fire on the altar, but he's a reed. He can come here and do hand like this. But can I tell you, in the credentials that the angels are reading, such a man, I don't, it's you that is calling him an apostle. It's you that is calling him a prophet. He's a reed. And Jesus said, remove him from the prophetic ministry. He cannot deliver my word. It was by the tendency of strength that John the Baptist looked at um, what's his name and said you cannot have your brother's wife what's the name of that man he said you cannot have your and that was what put him in trouble am I right or wrong how could he why could he not have parleyed with Herod to collect some some government money many of you entered government house you came out a read many of you they came to your office dropped a bag my father in the Lord Apostle Larome will say that if they open a gym text bag with dollars inside it and they open it and you smell it. He said, you don't know what you will do. Even as you are strong now and you are speaking in tongues, it's 8 o'clock. You, you are incapable of knowing what you will perform at that point. And then they pay it into your account and your account is reading fifty hundred thousand dollars Suddenly, you remember there is a hotel called BON. I can pay two weeks and chill out. And then suddenly, True Color will help you. I don't like True Color. It will bring out in Kiru's name. And saying, Kiru was the girl you benched six years ago. See her name, see her number. Give her a call. She's even in town. She's in town. And then you call on Kiru and say, you, you start by saying, God bless you. You know you, are not, you know you don't want to go that God bless you route. <laughs> and they say, God bless you. Where, where are you now? Kiru will tell you I'm at Wedra Junction. You are, you are at Rockview, but she's already at Wedra Junction because the devil wants to destroy you. And Kiru is so close. <laughs> Even if you choose not to call on Kiru, you went to buy tissue. And Kiru also came that day to buy tissue. And he said, I, I know you. How come it is that day you went to buy tissue that Kiru was there? It's because there's a hundred thousand speaking. And because of that hundred speaking, your capacity is increased. Apostle, we get, we get problem. And yet we want to carry the word of God in this time. How come you are here, you are preaching, and then you hear that your pastor friend is building a hotel somewhere? Does it not change the calibration of your mind? You start thinking, ah, we started together. I even knew when his mother, his mother used to come, his mother used to come around here before. And then in the night, in the season of nights that you should be praying, you are beginning to an analyze how both of you knew each other and prefer how you grew up in Aladema together. How did this, how is he making it? That's how some young men were discussing about a minister that came into town. And then one of them asked me, Oh, can you hold And I had to analyze that statement for a long time. I said, Can you hold Is it anointing or what? I said, Mumba, why not? Can you hold you? I'm Apostle, you can be able, you can define this in hold for me. You can define, see, you are, you are, you can define it. Can somebody tell me what Ihoji means? Nah. I know you call it Owo. It might not be Owo. Do you know that there are some pastors who are not even ashamed to say, Are you here? You don't want to talk about it. A lot of jazz, jazz pastors are all over the town. And if you are here, you are one of them. You will become sick. See, this program is a setup for judgment. So run away. Run away unless you want God to heal you. 
Because when the anointing comes, some people, while other people are judgment will be coming because there's a jar somewhere, a ring is speaking in their life. Their body is beginning to vibrate because that place they put hand, that thing is chasing them. A church started in this town and they were using the spirit of the familiar spirits and they were using um, necromancy to minister to people. So when they come, when you come for counseling, what they do is that they sit down and then they invoke that spirit. And when that spirit comes into them, they will start telling you your problems. They will tell you that your father did this and did that. You will not know that they've invoked the spirit. You will still be looking at them as pastors, dressing like me now. But that spirit is at work. And then when you leave there, that day, you say, when pro they hope I'm everything about my father. And then you're already hypnotized. Those things, are they working in a way? They are walking here. So as I preach, some champs will begin to die. I want a roaring amen. Some of the things they buried in the land in churches will die. Some churches that, some people that buried coffin, you tie coffin in your waist, bury it in your church. In fact, not only will it die, you will become sick. You will carry cancer. Until you come to God and say, Lord, help me. Help me. When you are looking at that man in the face, what will you tell him? If you are not a read, when you look at such a man that you know that he's an occultic man, an occultic pastor, how can you tell him about Jesus? Because today, instead of us to base our reality on the life of Christ, we are basing it on the reality of miracles. We are basing it on that as he raised his hand like this, something started happening. And these are men we know that they practice occult in the secret. So God will raise you as a cap to look at them and say, you are an evil man, but God wants to save you. Are you a reed? I packed into the house of man, a man who was occultic. The first thing he did was to decode that I was a contractor. I didn't know how he knew. He came and said, nah, I heard that you are a contractor. I said, yes. He said, there's something he wants to give me. Any person owe him me will pay me. Imagine me, a pastor like me. I now smiled. I said, it's like this man does not know the kind of person he has to put in his house. I said, okay, I'm a Christian now. And you want to give me what? And that time people were actually owing me. How the man tapped into a frequency to know that I was being owed? I cannot say. That is the same gift that operates in some charlatans who will come and tell you, you have 10 million in your account. Come to my office, we'll discuss. He's a thief. A thief just spoke. And you, because they've used charm to manipulate you, you follow him. You will share that 10 million into to you. That's if they don't take the whole 10 million. We will kill that spirit in a worry. We will kill that serpent in our way. We will drive charlatans out in the name of Jesus. They have manipulated families and destroyed families. If you are one of them and your own ideology about ministry is gain, you have walked into the wrong place. Are you hearing me now? You have walked into the wrong place. And then if God has called you to stand and pray over those lands and you chicken out because they put some money in your pocket, you are a re. You know, I want to emphasize this thing before I go to the next one. There's another recommendation Jesus said, but can I stay on this read? Because read would disqualify you when there is contentious doctrinal issues. Read. A man that was canceling a woman, he's a bishop, oh, canceling a young lady. The young lady was driven out from her house. So she, she offered to keep the young lady in their own house. So she called his wife and said, the bishop called his wife and said, this young lady does not have a house. We have a guest room. We need to, well, let's, let's, let's act like Jesus. See, don't think I'm joking what I said now. I'm serious, very, very serious. He said, can we operate like Jesus and help a young lady out? Let's give her this guest room. And then the wife said, my husband, God is using you. Go ahead. And then guess what? They put the young lady there. And then every night by 11 in the night, Bishop was going for counseling by 11. So madam, madam will wake up and want to touch Bishop and say, and then Bishop pillow, it's only pillow that is there. So madam will tie wrapper and go out to check. Welcome, sir. And go out to check. And then he goes to the, she goes to the guest room to listen. And then she hears counseling going on. So one day she had to confront the bishop and say, my lordship, sir. See, that is how my lordship. You know, some people have become so arrogant in the world because of what is controlling them. They are now arrogant. 
He said, my, must this counseling hold in the knife? You know, I care for you. Must this counseling? Can he continue this? And the, and the man, because he was a bishop, now, he said, woman, woman, don't resist the anointed of the Lord. You want to stand against the world? Then the bishop said, Woman, woman. That's how one of the pastors that they have killed now because he practices occultic occultism in church. He was in the presidential hotel in Portaco. Called a woman, a married woman by 11 in night, and said, Are you in town? The woman said, Yes, I'm with my husband. He said, Come now to presidential. There is an anointing that came now. I want to lay hands on you. Madam said, I'm with my husband. He said, Is he there? Give him the phone. And the man was talking. He said, you are the one trying to stop your wife from receiving an anointing that just came into the territory. Kai, see, evil, evil is bad. The devil is bad on Monday. He's bad on Wednesday. He's bad on Friday and Sunday morning. And then the woman, the, the husband was afraid. And then he said, Madam, go. The madam went for that anointing that came in the territory and stayed there till five in the morning. Can we? Fortune, was it anointing that day? You don't want to talk now. And then the bishop said, Woman, don't stop the work of God. That's how one day in the dining table in the morning, the bishop now called his wife, called the lady in the guest room, and told the wife that when I met you, I was in the world. And I'm not even sure God spoke to me when I married you. But now in my study, in my holy study, chambers, where God speaks directly, distilling, the voice distills. I have received a new vista, a new revelation. I think this, this young lady here now, God has told me is my wife. The woman fell on the ground, rolled and went and called the elders. The elders came and said, oh God. And he told the elders, it's like people like my wife, so carry her and go. I have a new wife now. And that man is still preaching today and you are there. Oh God. But also, how, do we, how can that bring revival? I choose not to be a reed. The Bible said, did you go out to see a reed shaking with the wind? Majority of us are shaking. In your office, you shake. You are a reed. They said they will sack that person. Who come late the next day? You come late and you go and lie. You are a reed. And next time you come to this garden, say, God, make me a voice that will go to the generation. You are a reed. This morning, we're going to cry that God will remove a reed tendency from our hearts. Because we are not just after the intelligence. When our father comes, he will bring the intelligence for this territory. But we want to look at the carriers. What kind of men would they be? That's number one. Number two, Jesus brought another contention. Jesus raised another questionnaire. Verse 7. Can somebody take? Yes, verse 7. And as they departed, Jesus began to say to the multitude concerning John, what went he out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaking with the wind. But what went he out for to see? He now brought another consideration. He said, a man. The first illustration, Jesus used an organic matter called plant. A reed. Now he's using a, an adjective of a man. He said, a man clothed in soft raiment. A man clothed in soft raiment. Now, the first one was a reed. And what did I say a reed was? 
instability, easily swayed, no foundation. And Jesus was trying to give an endorsement to the ministry of, of, of John. He said that John was not a reed. If you think that he went to the, multi, to, to the wilderness to see a reed, you did not see the right person. He is not a reed. And secondly, he now brought another perspective, not an, a plant now. He used man. He said, a man clothed in soft raiment. Now, what was Jesus saying there? This one was not a reed. Now, Jesus said that people that wear soft garments, they are in king's houses. Where was John? So it means that what Jesus is emphasizing here is that you cannot be an accurate prophet if you are building your life on simplicity and comfort. Somebody says soft raiment. Somebody says soft raiment. Bible says endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Number one, it's not just the act of compromise because there's no foundation. And remember, number one, the implication of a read is that it is compromising because there's no foundation. It is comprising because there's no robust nature of Christ's life in him. Secondly, he must not be a man clothed in soft raiment. It means that the contention for the next item on the credential of a true prophet that Jesus read is that such a man must be a processed man. A man that God has removed the dregs of comfort. That man can go through byways and pathways to serve the purpose of God. That's why when God brings process, you run. If God brings process your way and you run, you are a man clothed in soft raiment. You cannot last in the prosecution of the voice of God in the land. A lot of people who are babies in the house of God. That's why we need to bring a distinction between the milk Christians and the wine Christians. The milk Christians get bad with time. The wine Christians get better with time. When you leave wine exposed, it tastes better with time. But when you leave milk exposed, it dies with time. There's no process in many lives. That's why when a little pressure comes, they, they, they compromise. A little pressure. You are a student here and your CGPA drops one point. You run away from fellowship. You cannot be a voice. You are like a man clothed with soft raiment. I will show you what John was clothed with. And then we start building prayer from there. So when God is beginning to bring you, that's why the Bible says, and the child was in the desert until the time of his showing. When Jesus wants to bring out your ordination, he sends you to the desert. Why? Because he does not want you to be a functionary that will bear holy things and wearing soft raiment. It means that the pressure comes, you will run. I was in final year in Futo. Many of you did not know. It was in final year as I was praying in the garden that God touched me and said, you will not graduate this year with yourself. I have work you will do for me. And I cried when I heard it. I know his voice. But I cried. Ran back to God. God, he did not say anything again. And I resigned. I never knew that he was processing my life. He killed the ambition in that area so that I can focus on his work. Sometimes there are things happening in your life because God wants to kill an ambition. If he doesn't kill it, you will not be a good propagator of his voice. You will go there and you will speak something wrong. Imagine when you are a voice, a voice now God gives you a voice for the land and then the day you want to declare it, a father in the land came and that father in the land wants to come and bless the people and then you, you look at the content of your message. You will say, Maybe it is not today God says I should say. God says I should say it next week. Let this man come and go. I will say it later. You are a man clothed in soft raiment. God can never trust you again to declare that word. The eastern heartland is filled with occultic pastors. And time has come for God to raise young men, young women who will come out from the secret place who God will endorse from the prison house to come and declare the raw word of God in the territory. We are those young men. I'm not talking about just gift of prophecy. That's the Lord. I'm talking about raw grace, raw anointed to challenge charlatans. I don't know the kind of mind you have to do ministry. You want to do ministry. And you want to do ministry from the angle of that, of, 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 of canal resources that you have seven chips outside. And that's what we celebrate in our time. A man of God was preaching to a congregation. And he said, this is my shoe. This is my shoe is 50,000. You will get there. And he was saying it with all seriousness in his face. He said, you will get there. And he, and he put his leg like this. He said, this shoe is 50,000. And he was telling young men. So, 
I don't know what he's trying to program in your mind that ministry is all about wearing shoe. He said, this shoe is 50,000. You will get, tell your neighbor, you will get there. And then, if I declare that now, many of you will tell each other, you will get there. Let me say it on that prophecy now. This is my shoe. Okay, this one only is 50,000. They will tell you that Jeep outside. I, I, I imported it from US. Fully first class everything. You will get there. And that is what we are saying. How can such a, a, a vessel bring the prophetic intelligence that can conquer a territory? It cannot happen. I come bearing good news to you. I come bearing the anointing of a rugged generation that can turn the kingdom of darkness upside down with a grace only God can give. And look at the kings in their face and say, you are in error. This is error. I bring judgment. I bring judgment. We are bowed to the gods of mammon for too long. Bow to the gods of immorality for too long. Bow to the gods of occultism for too long. We have come to recalibrate that destiny. That integer, integer needs to change. That God can find men that when we can raise their service in the territory, we will not find any tendency. Kapolia, Malas, Covenant, Elaba. A contractor ran to me. Can you give me strings there? Ran to me and brought that time I was supervising telecom sites and brought 100,000. That those were 2011, 2012. 100,000 was big and slotted it under my arm. And then I was about to sign his project. But when I saw the money, I said, no, this guy wants to manipulate me. And I called him and said, what is this money for? He said, we want to say thank you. I said, how much is this work that you give me 100,000? I said, it's like there's something I'm not seeing. I'm trying to pass this site in ignorance. Let me check it again. Because some men have been bought already. You lost your voice. You lost your anointing because you were bought. They bought you. So when I was talking about it, I said, if your friend is building a, 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 a three-star hotel in Oweri and you are a preacher like him, it changes your mentality of how you do ministry. Am I right? So next time, even if you don't have a suit, one day a young man was called to preach somewhere. He came to my house and said, I should borrow him my car. I said, why do you need my car? He said, because I'm invited to so-and-so place. I want to come in with your car. He wants to come in in style. He wants to arrive in style. I said, and I called him, I said, God, sit down. I said, are you sure God gave you a message for these people? He said, look at the better. I said, no, you don't have a message. The mentality of a sent one is God. A prophet must not have read tendencies. And a prophet must not be one shaking with the wind. The day the prophetic anointing will open, that day the governor of this state might be there. Who puts on him and we sit and the prophetic anointing opens there. What will you say? You will say, Holy Ghost, you will say, Time Age, this kind of thing. I will go to the house. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are serious now? If you are like that, then you are a, there's, a, there's a read element in your CV, and an angel suddenly harasses and disqualifies you. This is why the territory lacks prophets. Gehazi ran after Naaman and collected gifts. When he came to Elisha, Elisha said, is it time to collect these things? Is it time? One day I went and preached somewhere, preached aggressively. They gave me money. As they put that money, I heard the God say, put it back in the offering basket. Eh? Kai, maybe your only understanding here is that you, you are, your preaching is because you want to make gain out of it. And God said, put it back. My wife has said it and some of the people who were close to me. I, I was so broke. I was so broke. Fortune knows how broke. I was so broke. I needed to pay some bills urgently. And then I was lying down on my bed. I said, young man, I was a young preacher. And I was saying, Lord, will you not help me? All of a sudden, a friend called me. He's a pastor in Port Harcourt and said, man of God, can you come and bless us next Sunday? Jesus. Miracle has come. I said, even if I preach very well, money will come. Imagine the tendency of my heart. So I went and ironed my white suit. Somebody say white suit. You know there are some suits you keep at certain times. Because that day YouTube will come to show you. 
So you come out like a bishop. And then anything you say, you will shout into the mic so that all of us, our ear will pop. You will say, glory, glory, glory. If something is pushing you. Something is manipulating you. And that day, I ironed my suit. And I started fasting. Not because I was fasting for God to move. I wanted to show myself so that honorarium can come in. If your mind is like, like my own that time, God will bring deliverance here now. And then when I got to his church, he, was, he welcomed me. He said, we, we will have you in another 45 minutes. I said, yes, sir. So as I was in his office, it was in that his office that the Holy Ghost now entered. It. Nobody was there. They said I should be praying. The church was happening. People were singing. You know, the Holy Ghost now came into the office and said, don't take that offering. Because I told him I wanted to raise an offering. Imagine, not just ordinary room. I told him that I wanted to raise an offering. And then because he believed in me, he believed I was a man of God. And he believed that that offering I would raise, God told me. He said, okay, no, Ohala. He never knew that I was a thief. Trying to run away with people's money. Maybe you are here, you have run away with people's money many times. Repent. And then while I was in that office, the Holy Ghost now came and said, don't raise that offering. I have provided for you. But when he said that, money did not appear on the table. One brother is laughing now. The problem remains. So I surrendered. They were waiting for me to come and preach, but I died in that man's office. Sometimes you can die many times. Die the death that will bring your ordination out. I died there, and tears came down from my eyes. So when Pastor came in and saw me crying, he thought I was in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Somebody shout glory! And then I told him I'm ready. As I was going into the church, he called me and said, You would now, friend. I said, And I went and I preached. And I preached. And great things happened. And I dropped the microphone. I was going away. He ran after me and said, What of the offering? And I did like this. You know that what this is? He said, Carry your wahala, go. And I went and sat down. When I sat down, that money did not appear. Sometimes, young man, that money God promised may not appear that time. Maybe that. That car that should have come to pick you from there will not come. Rain will even beat you that day. Maybe landlord will say, Come and want to throw your things out, and yet you have anointed on your head. I have made up my mind to hold the feet of Jesus. Whether rain or shine, I will hold the feet of Jesus. It is such a man, such men that he puts grace on. And then guess what? It's like God wanted to use that to teach me a lesson of my life. As I sat there, all of a sudden, one woman that contested, I don't know whether it was cancel or local government, the woman just came to greet me and she slotted an envelope in my hand. And then I touched her and she left. So after the, I went home, after I prayed, I now said, let me check this thing. God shocked me to my bones. Exactly all my problems gathered together to the last one couple was what the woman wrote in the check and put there. God has shocked me many times. So I will not touch on holy money in the name of Jesus. Are you, a, are you like a man clothed in soft raiment? You have not passed through hard things before. God has not processed you through the corridors of, 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 of holiness and consecration so that even in the face of a woman, you will not compromise. If you are still wearing soft raiment, you have not been processed. It means that a woman comes and offers himself to you. You will fall. You still toast women now. They tell you no. In our own case, women come and offer themselves like this. And we had men like Joseph who had that record. Joseph found himself in Potiphar's house. He didn't toast a lady. The wife of Oga himself now came and said, and Joseph said, no, how can I do this? His brothers were not there. The God of Israel, he is not seeing him physically. His father was not there. He said, I cannot do this and sin against the God which you are not seeing left his clothes and ran. You have not been processed. So how can you bear the word of God? That's how God was telling a, a, a man of God, stop immorality. Stop immorality. And the man held it. He will still come and preach. Power will flow. And then he was wondering, how come power flows? And when I still sleep with the woman, I can still come and pass. So he continued it. And many of us were doing combined service. Because the last time you preached and you did hand like this, people, something happened. And then you still found yourself in, 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 in Transtel Hotel. You did five hours stretch there. Came out and you did hand like this. 
You say, if let's say we can combine this thing. If let's say they work. Maybe you are in combined ministry. And then he kept doing it until one day. It's like that day was the day the devil wanted to expose him. He was in a big program like this. And he went and saw a lady manifesting with the spirit of immorality. And forgot that he himself is carrying a, 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 a what? Exhibit. Somebody say exhibit. And then he said, you immorality, come out. The spirit moved the lady to come and grab him and kiss him. And then that was when these people, you see these TV people, where are those camera people? That was the day they came and snapped it. You see, sometimes, they, and they now snapped a man of God holding a lady and kissing. And then they didn't know the lady, the man was pushing out the lady, but the lady grabbed him. So what we saw in the paper was a, lady, a man in a crusade ground kissing a woman. And then that thing destroyed him. Why? Because he was carrying an exhibit. <coughs> the platform I want to raise is so that we understand that there are credentials that qualifies accurate prophets. And what did Jesus say about John? Can we go down from verse, verse 7b? He said, what went here to the wilderness to see? A rich shaking with the wind. But what went here for to say? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft clothing, they are in king's houses. It means that if you wear soft clothes, we can be able to trace you in the kingdom where you will end up. Do you know what this thing Jesus means? It means that a man who has not been processed, we can trace where he will end up in three years. You didn't hear me. Jesus is saying that people that wear soft clothing, they are in king's houses. It means that a man who is not processed, you can be able to give that man 10 years and say, in 10 years time, this man will have vanished. And they're not young men who have vanished in the same now. Where are those seven-year-old evangelists? Where are they? There are many people that came on the scene and they blazed. But they were a shooting star. Jesus said, if you wear a soft raiment, we know where to find them. We will find them in the king's table. And the king's table has destroyed many true prophets. That was where bad prophets ate food. The king's table. The king's table is where you think that you are being left behind in ministry. Maybe you are here, you're a pastor. You feel that your neighbor has left you behind because you are seeing him drive a new car. That's the king's table. And then you begin to change your own and compromise. Jesus said, if you see a man wearing soft clothing, he's found in king's houses. Verse 9. But what went he out to say? This is where Jesus brought endorsement to the prophetic unction and ministry of John. He said, but what went he out for to say? Verse 9. He says, a prophet and Jesus said yeah the year of Jesus has, is sounding from the aeons of eternity when Jesus looks at you and say yeah that year sounds from time from time memorial it sounds into ages yeah I want the year of Jesus he said yeah I say unto you even more than a prophet Jesus brought the endorsement to John even while he was in prison you can be in prison and Jesus is talking about you. You can be in the hideout. Nobody is seeing you. Yet your endorsement is growing. It must not be on stage. Are you hearing me now? Because I want to talk to young men. Build a platform. Our daddy will take us into intelligence. He said, yeah, even more than a prophet. And he continued. He said, for this is he. Jesus was now making reference to John. He said, for this is he. Of whom it is written. Behold, I send my messenger before thy face which shall prepare a way before me. His ministry and his ordination was brought to life. Number two, verse 10 says, verse 11 says, Verily I say unto you, among them born of women, there had not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom is greater than he. Reading this verse, some of you say, eh, you see now, we big pastor. You forgot that when John came on the scene, John recalibrated the standard. He changed the landscape. So whatever you read about John, if you that is in the kingdom, cannot do that and surpass it you are implicated yes we that are custodians of grace are more than John but John came to set the benchmark do you even have the benchmark and you have grace that's number two number three verse 12 and from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force number three John came to set up a force field somebody say a force field Somebody say a force field. What we will need is a force field that will break occultic charms, that will break the pots of occultic men. 
who are using the name of God in vain. There are charlatans who have chosen to propagate occultism. Today we say no. We have come to stay up a first field. A first field that they cannot operate. It's either they bow to Jesus or they leave town. Somebody shout glory. But for God to do that, God will not need to see any tendency of reading you. I have removed my soft raiment. The Bible talking about in the book of Acts. He said these are men who have jeoparded their lives. I have chosen to go the hard route so that God can be able to depend on me. So that when it's as if the kingdom wants a hand to hold on to under that drowning sea, God can find me. Can he find you in a worry? Right there where you are, can you begin to pray in the Holy Ghost? Kamoske. Valus kape musai. Vavina kapondesi. You reign forever, your name is ever great. You can find me. You are the wisdom before time began. You reign forever, your name is ever great. You are the wisdom done before can you pray for yourself some angels are endorsing credentials by your name is ever great what went he out into the wilderness to say Jesus raised a question here your, Your name, name is, is ever, ever great, great, ever great. You are the wisdom before time began. Ah, 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 ah. be left in me and reap the nations for you so my life so my life Lord and reap the nations for you so my life so my life I reap the nations for you spend my life Spend my life, Lord. I reap the nations for you. So my life. So my life, Lord. So my life. So my life, Lord. So my life. So my life, Lord. I reap the nations for you. So my life, so my life, Lord. 
What is there to live for when the name of my Savior is buried in the mud? We are not afraid to die. What is there to live for when the name of my Savior is
your pride. Come to the school of the spirit. Swallow your pride. Come to the school of the spirit. Swallow your pride. Come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know? In the sun is the key to eternity. Don't you know? In the sun is the key to eternity. A little here and a little there. Uh, till the day we know. He's bringing everything. Everything though, in obedience to God. Swallow your pride. Come to the school of the Spirit. Swallow your pride. Come to the school of the Spirit. Swallow your pride. Welcome to the school of the Spirit. Swallow your pride. Don't let him out. Oriya na magia. Sopela tawa na. Oriya na magia. Abeo. Abeya de bola. Oriya ke ya. Abeni ya na. Don't you know? In the sun is the key to eternal life. Don't you know? In the sun is the key to eternal life. A little here and a little there. Till the day we is bringing. Everything Yeah. 
Help us respond to the sound of the devil. Help us respond to the sound of the devil. I am 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 I Help us respond to the sound of the cable. Help us respond to the sound of the cable. Help us respond to the sound of making. Help us respond to the sound of the little soul. Yeah. 
Hey, hey, Yahweh, you be seen. 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 Yahweh, you be seen.
Yahweh, you be seen. Yahweh, you be seen. Yahweh, you be known. Yahweh, you be known. Yahweh, you be known. Over this land, oh Yahweh. Over this territory, Yahweh, let only you be known. Only you be known. Over this land, oh Yahweh. Over this land, oh Yahweh. Let only you be known. Only you do be known. Yahweh, you will be seen. Yahweh, you will be known. Yahweh, you will be known. Yahweh, you will be known. Over my life, oh Yahweh. Over my life, oh Yahweh. That only you will be seen. Let only you be seen, oh Lord. Over my life, oh Lord. I eat the bread, 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 I the over my life, oh yeah. That only you be known. My God, my God. That only you be known. My God, over my life, oh yeah. Over my life, oh yeah. That only you be known. Only you. Yahweh, you be seen. Yahweh, you be seen. Yahweh, you be seen. Yahweh, you be seen. Let me be lost in the ground, ground Lord. Yahweh, you be seen. Yahweh, you be known. Yahweh, you be seen. Yahweh, you be known.
and your king has come there to stay and your king shall not pass away your king has come here to stay over Nigeria over Africa Lord over every state your kingdom has come here to stay and your king has come here to stay and your king shall not pass away and your king has come here to stay and your king shall not pass away and your king and your king has come here to stay and your king shall not pass away the great monarch of Zion. Worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Are you worshiping where you are? Just worship the ancient of days. We adore you, ancient of days. We worship you. We worship you.
from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. The name of the Lord is to be praised. We worship you. We worship you. Then shall the redeemed of the Lord return again to Zion with singing. We worship you. We worship you. An everlasting joy shall be on our faces. Lord, we worship you. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, O great monarch of Zion. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we worship. Somebody praise the Lord. Mary, cover your seat. God bless you mightily. Welcome the neighbor to your right, to your left. Say, welcome to the house of God. Say it and look at his face. Say, welcome to the house of God. I want to believe that the Lord is doing you good in the house of God. This is what we do. We are not here for fanfare. We are here to find the writings of God so that we can interpret them accurately to our generation. You are welcome on board to the Remnant Christian Network, Emo State. God bless you mightily. I want to make due diligence to acknowledge everyone that has made our time to join us in the April edition of the Remnant Christian Network 10 hours program. I salute you all and I celebrate you. But beyond that, I still want to recognize some few people in our midst according to the due order and we want to acknowledge and celebrate them for making our time to be part of the service. You are welcome mighty. When we gather for a 10 hours, we we strap in our belts and we are on cruise mode. We hit the high temperature in God. Find him in the highest heaven so that he can give grant unto us the privilege to come down from the mountain with his laws. The Bible says he sent his word unto Jacob. It lightened upon Israel. The difference between Jacob and Israel is the revelation of his word. And in a short moment of time, our Father in the Lord will be taking the stage to deliver the word of God unto us. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. I want to recognize some few ministers in our midst and we want to honor them and salute them for being here. Um, and the other word is written according to the information available to me, Pastor Habakkuk Ubi. Can we salute the man of God in the house? We welcome you, sir. And one of my wonderful friends, a brother, and a wonderful apostle of fire. We love him so much. He's here in the house. Pastor Nauma Akobundu. Amen. We welcome you, sir. We love you so much. I uh, also want to recognize Pastor Savior Shei. He's also in the house. We love you, sir. God bless you so much. Uh, my own good friend. Love him so much. He has been a part of this work right from the onset. And he has been a friend of the house. Somebody you can run to and... Um, you can be comforted. Apostle Chidi Egon is in the house. Can we, can we make him welcome? You are welcome, sir. We love you. I don't see any more loves you. <laughs> you know, in your lifetime, you may not have many friends. 
he's, he's, he's one of a friend, a good friend. <laughs> and he knows that. <laughs> Amen. I'm not forgetting also one of our friends, Evangelist Sam Wachuku. God bless you, sir. God bless you. We also have a minister in the house, Minister Ebere Akalono. God bless you so much. Can we recognize her? She's in the house. Okay. She's not here seated. All right. Okay. I think she was here earlier. Also, we have um, Pastor Chukuka Israel. Pastor Chukuka Israel. Chukuma Israel. God bless you. He's in the house. God bless you. Also, we have Pastor Jerry Goji. If he's in the house, can he signal? God bless you. You're welcome. We love you so much. Um, Pastor Kashmir Osuji is also in the house. Can we recognize him? God bless you, sir. You're welcome. You are welcome. Uh, the man of God that the Lord has prepared for the word of God today is a father. Not just a father. One of the voices that the Lord has raised in the Nigerian church in this season. Uh, before I introduce him, I want to introduce his lieutenant, the one he came with. Pastor Kwe Alonge is here. We want to acknowledge him. Pastor Kwe, you're welcome. All the way from Lagos. You are welcome. God bless you mightily. Um, not forgetting the wife of my youth. She's in the house. Uh, you, you may be clapping for me, but when I get home, when I get home in the house, she will open the Bible to me and say, that thing you said in that line too. <laughs> uh, she's a wonderful person. Mommy Oge, we love you so much. And I value her so much. Such a special person to me. Uh, she, has, she has been by my side all through. Thick and rain. When it was as if there was, there was no, sight, no hope in sight, she stood there and steadied the ship. The Lord bless and reward her mighty. What you want to marry? Marry a good wife. Oh. <laughs> marry a good wife. A wife that will be able to look at you and talk to you straight. Not a wife that you say, woman, I can't try that in the house. You know, that bishop can say, woman, I can't. if I try, she will wear trousers and face me. So, when, when I know she is listening, I, 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 I put myself in order. You know, some men of God will come to the platform and lie about some testimonies in order to portray their message. I, I can't try it because she will come and say, <laughs> so, when I know, I will be, some exaggerations are lies because you want to make the message sound good. God did not tell you to make the message sound good. God said, preach the war in season and out of season. And that's what we are called to do. She's, she's a strong winged man and I celebrate her. So young, man, I, young men in the house, I advise you. Let wisdom speak to you. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. And every other minister in the house, we want to say, we also want to, don't want to forget our own able, um, he said he doesn't want to answer pastor. He said he's a politician. But, but he's a pastor. Uh, he, he came to give an address in a meeting and people were going under power. And he said he did not under, understand how the political position changed into, into a miracle position. I said, that's it. Honorable Collins Ugoji, we love you so much. We love you, sir. The house celebrates you mightily. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Without wasting much time, because the Lord has prepared a feast of banquet, and we are all invited. Um, Imo State is um, at the core center of what the Lord is doing in the Eastern Hemisphere of this nation. And God wants to domicile his word in this territory 
so that we can run and navigate our right in these uncertain times. These are strange times. And the Lord will have to help us with utterance, with direction, with purpose. And our Father is in the house this afternoon. We want to celebrate him wonderfully. Can we all be upstanding? I call him my father. I call him the prophet of our time. All the way from Lagos State, the center of excellence. The point man of Arusian Lagos. Reverend Austin Okore. We want to celebrate a father in the house. We love you, sir. We love you, sir. God bless you. Amen. Uh, Mama is in the house. Celebrate Mama for me. Not my wife, Pastor Sorochi's wife. Help me celebrate her one more time. You know, she looks very unassuming, right? But uh, deep ocean flows with majestic silence. Once upon a time in Lagos, after 10 hours meeting, she accosted me. I said, when are you coming to the east? That was the day I know that, ah, this woman that I used, I used to see sit down quietly, she's very bold. If you take boldness to do that thing, Oga, when are you coming to do this? I said, Ah, Mama, we were agreed already. I'm coming. She now smiled. And thank you for coming. I know it's a huge sacrifice for her to be here, and I know what I'm saying. Help me celebrate her one more time. Celebrate the husband for me, Pastor Sorochi, our own very reverend Sorochi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Now, I am just a brother to him. He's my big brother. All that he said, leave him alone. We we'll understand ourselves. He's a, he's a big man in the Lord. He's not, he's not a dwarf. The strength of, help me tell your neighbor, the strength of Pepe is not in the size. There is a difference between small Pepe and Tatashi. The strength of Pepe is not in the size. That's one parable my father and the Lord taught me. He said, Austin, remember that the strength of Pepe is not in the size. Again, help me celebrate him. <laughs> celebrate the grace of God upon his life. Thank you so very much for having me here. I am torn in between and in betwixt. I have a couple of assignments that God wants me to do. So I will just take us through them one after the other. And at some point I'm going to ask that people shouldn't come inside the hall again because I don't want distractions. Some time ago in the year 2020, okay, you can sit down before we stand up to do what we need to do. And I need, at this point, I need us to relieve Honorable of everything he's doing so that he can sit down because at some point I am going to call for you. So I need you to sit down where I can see you. He said he's not a pastor but he's a politician. So he has accepted his political... Where are you going again? One of our point men just walked in now. My own big brother also. Please let me celebrate Pastor Victor, the point man of Abba. Am I correct? 
Welcome, sir. How is your beautiful damsel? I saw you on your status when you were celebrating her a few days ago. I said, that's good. I like that. Amen? You're welcome. How was your trip? Good. So, um, honorable. No, not in the media department. I need you where I can see you. So that when that thing comes, I can call you. Come and sit. Okay, come and sit on my seat. You cannot say no. Come and sit on my seat. Thank you. God bless you. All right. I want to set the tone for the meeting. Once upon a time, my father in the Lord, Apostle Arame, called me and he said, if you want to go find the prophetic that God has called you, you need to be very, very wise and careful. And number two, he said to me, learn to document the prophecy so that you don't waste them. I never knew the import of those words until two years later. And we are here because of some certain things that God will have me do in the East. When I sat down here, I suddenly realized that God is giving me an opportunity. He's giving me a privilege to be able to do one or two things regarding the East. In the year 2020, I was at home. In January, the Lord spoke to me about that year. And every year, God speaks to me three months into the year. And then the Lord spoke to me about that year. And I think that was the year we sang, We Move Forward by the grace of the Lord. The Lord gave us a song and said it's a season for us to move forward. In January, February, March, the lockdown began. And when the lockdown began, I've been an intercessor. I don't know what you call the prophetic office. The first time I heard that God has called somebody into the prophetic office called Austin, I was not aware. It was Bishop Waloke that told me but do you know that you are called into the office? I said, I don't know. I didn't take it by faith. I actually didn't know. So in the month of March, there was lockdown. And when the lockdown came, we began to pray. We began to do one hour prayer and book study on Mixelar. And then it persisted. Then by April, I would just sit down in my living room or in my room and I will begin to cry. My mom didn't die. She's still alive. My children are fine. My wife is fine. We have food to eat even though there was lockdown. I just was weeping. I really couldn't explain why I was weeping. It went on. I will have to call some of my friends like Jonathan Oraka on phone crying that men just pray for me. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I'm crying. At this time, I had not studied the Bible to understand that there is a book called the Book of Tears where God will store up the tears of an intercessor so that he can move based on that. I didn't know what was going on with me. I was only sobbing. Then I kept praying that, Lord, what is happening to me? I will call my younger ones to check if everybody is fine. And then at some point, I will say, is this the spirit of sorrow that is coming? Uh, then I spoke to my father and the Lord. He said, that tear is a message. Press it. While I pressed, the spirit of the Lord came upon me and he said, I'm giving you marching orders. Marching orders 2020 to 2023. Now follow me attentively. The marching orders 2020 to 2023 is what you have done in the private for over 14 years. I have prayed for Nigeria 
ever since I gave my life to Christ, consistently I have stayed as an intercessor for this country. Matter of fact, there was a time I wanted to leave. I paid, did IELTL exams, wanted to leave for Canada, and the Lord accosted us. As I speak to you, part of the money is still with the agent because I couldn't go back to collect the money. That's how tough God has held me back into this country. And then he said to us, this is the marching order. Take intercessory work to the entire nation. Go to all the geopolitical zones and begin to pray. But since we are in this lockdown, you are going to start praying every quarter for Nigeria. And then we had what we call the proclamation. In the season where we began to pray for Nigeria, and we talked about the proclamation, the Lord opened my eyes and I saw the priests of Nigeria, the, the angel that runs Nigeria. And I saw that he was demobilized. He was just, he's been static. Nothing has been happening as far as the angel of this country was concerned because intercession was lacking. And the Lord said, do this every quarter, midnight. And we began to do that every quarter, midnight online. And in one of those nights, we did what we call the proclamation. The theme for that particular prayer enterprise was the proclamation. It was in the season of the proclamation that God began to speak to me concerning the eastern region. And if you are from the east, I want to speak without being biased. I want to speak the truth from the standpoint of heaven. It was in this, the proclamation that God spoke to me about a certain rallying point that will come up. Help me put the first slide. That the Lord spoke to me about a certain rallying point that will come. But maybe before I touch this, let me do, hold on, don't, don't project it. The Lord just corrected me. Don't project it. Let me do the part one. I've given you the foundation of how we started. And by the grace of God, we were in the southeast sometime last year. We've been to southwest, northwest, I beg your pardon. We've been to northeast. We were in southeast last year. And then this year we are going to south-south. In fact, next week we'll be in south-south. And when we came to southeast, again the Lord spoke and emphasized about the rallying point that he will bring in the east. And I want to say to you that the rallying point that God spoke about is already in your midst. And I will unveil him in clear terms because God didn't speak to me that this is the man. God gave me the age bracket. You know the story. He gave the age bracket and at some point I told them to lock the door and then we called his name and we prayed for him. And today he's the governor. And in his time, he's going to rally the Obas. Maybe we call them the Obas here. The Obis and the Azes. Alright? He's going to bring them together. You will see the forging of unity like you've never seen in the East. Because what has broken the common good of the Eastern region are betrayers. But we want to deal with that issue first. Alright? And in dealing with that issue, I want to give honor to whom honor is due. Because when you prosecute prophetic intelligence, one of the things that you must understand is you must be a student of history. Because if you are not a student of history, you will repeat history. In prophetic prosecution, you must be a student of prophecy. You must be a student of history. You will have the calendar of, of, of history to be able to know what happened when you were not there. What happened when other generations came and what happened in your own generation. So to start with, give me the book of Proverbs. That scripture that says there is a generation that, that cursed his father. That should be Proverbs chapter 30, if I'm not mistaken. Proverbs chapter 30 verse 11. I want to start from that. And I'm giving credit to Apostle David Uboeli, whose message I listened to 
while I was in the UK. And it gave me a good perspective on what the problem is. That all of us here, we will kneel down today, we will cry to the Lord. And I will show you in scripture. I've been praying for the eastern region now for about three years consistently. And immediately that man became the governor. The Lord told me, now the assignment is about to begin. So some of us will be tracking into this place midnight to come and pray and go back. There is no better way to bring intelligence than in this program. Territory and what? Prophetic intelligence. So in the book of Proverbs chapter 30 verse 11, he said there is a generation that cursed their father and blessed not their mother. There is a generation that curses its father and bless not its mother. There is a generation that comes out and feels that they have outgrown what the fathers have done. So what they do is they curse them. They have no regard for the founding fathers. And according to scriptures, there are different kinds of fathers. Number one, there is a heavenly father. Somebody say heavenly father. Heavenly Father is our big daddy who controls the affairs of the world. Number two, there is biological father. Biological father are the ones at the gateway through which you came into the face of the earth. Alright? And then number three, we have surrogate fathers. Surrogate fathers are people who become fathers by proxy. Your, a surrogate father can even be your elder brother your elder brother, maybe your parents are no longer alive, somebody that is playing the role of a father over your life and you will know that this is my father. I've mentioned three now. Let me tell you one, two more that you may not like. There is Godfather. You may not like it, but it exists. There is founding father. Somebody say founding father. That is where I want to get you tonight. I'm zeroing on on what we call the founding what? Fathers. I want to ask you a question. Who are the founding fathers of the East? Eh? You, you, are you afraid? You see, that's why I told you, you cannot be intelligent if you don't know history. Can you see that you are filled already? When they want to start carrying sword now, you'll be carrying sword. If they carry gun now, you will carry gun. We are, you know, you keep. But because we lack history. When the founding fathers from this region appeared on the scene, they didn't fight with guns and bombs. They fought with intellectual material. They engaged men in the market space. So again, I ask you, who are the founding fathers from here? They have mentioned it already. Who are they? Who? Good. Who burnt his house? me youth who burnt his house not an ants respond to me not an ants who burnt his house brother help me say it loudly who burnt his house there is a generation that cursed his father We are here for prophetic chatter. So we want to start from the ground norm. Because I want to lead you to the prayers of repentance. We are going to cry on behalf of our fathers who dealt with the founding fathers. And what I want to say to you is if you don't know history, you keep repeating history. Before the Kaduna riot, before the Northeast, the bloodshed in this region has been something else. So the man who was part of fighting for our independence, the man who was part of ensuring that university came to your region so that you can be educated, when you became big and large, you became arrogant and felt that he was part of the problem and you went and burned his house.
That is one. Hold that on your right. There is a generation that costs what? His father. Number two. Many years ago, all of these things I'm saying is credit to Apostle David Ogwen. I listened to his message. And I've been praying now. How can we? Because there is a wisdom God gave to me concerning the next two elections in Nigeria. And the East is in the center of it right now. Number two, what he said that struck me, he said many years ago, 78% of the workers in Lagos were Igbos. In Lagos state government, too. Not, not, not businessmen. Men in the, how do you call that thing? Civil service, thank you. Men in the civil service, 78% were Igbos. Somebody say Igbos. Somebody say Southeast. They were Igbos. Number two, I hope you know that half of Lagos is owned by Igbos. Oh, you don't know? Huh? So keep that one. You know when the table turned? There is a generation that cursed his father and does not bless eight mother. Number three thing he said that brought Shiva to my spirit. I said, no wonder these people will see power. Akadibo, is it Akadibo? We get to number three and then somehow they will boot him out. They will see, smell, looking like now is our turn. And then all of a sudden, they begin to betray themselves. And nothing happens. He said, at some point, the highest generals in military were the Igbos in the 70s. It was the Igbos that orchestrated the killing of the founding fathers. If you are well, let me see your hand. Do you see that we have so many things to repent about? There can be no reign of righteousness if we don't visit foundations. That is why I'm doing this. I know we have done quam, quam, quam. We have prayed, we've, we've, we've charged. But now we want to. We want to dig deep. Because the next seven years are critical years for you guys. Seven years, eight years. The next election, but by the following election, my God, it will be your fault if you don't emerge. It will be your fault. So they killed, orchestrated the killing of all the fathers. And when the fathers were going, they don't need to say that they, they don't need to say that these people they will never come into power. They don't need to say it. It will just begin to play out. How many of you watched the coronation of the king in Delta State? How many of you watched it? If you are a very spiritual person, you would know that God has just used the present OVA, that's the king, to herald a new face over our nation and over the Delta Kingdom. He said the curse that my father lead, dropped on us today as his seed I break that curse. So the reason why two brothers who are billionaires cannot work together here they will start to there will be a romance but in the middle there will be fight is that spirit that is fighting them it's not because this other one wanted to borrow money and not pay may god give you understanding it's not because this one wanted to make him take loan from the bank and then he will abandon him and not pay no it is the spirit that is in the foundation 
because when these two come together and another two come together and another two come together the force that will emerge will bankroll anything so these are the things that I came up with now this intelligence helped me because of the prophetic words that God has given to me regarding the southeastern region I probably may not be able to share them all but you can check on RCL Lagos platform just go to all the prayer watch and you can check I think on my Instagram page you will see some of those things they were well captured they are there so this is giving us a face this is giving us an advantage on how to prosecute what God has given to me. So because they were part of the fathers that came and killed and killed and killed, what everybody has been doing with the eastern region is what I call use and dump. They call you up. Say, I work with us. We will very soon. And before you know it, they are betrayed. That betrayal didn't start now. That betrayal started many years ago with Obasanjo. Who advanced when we're looking at how to take off the bound woman. You remember? Someone, how many of you know that story? And then all of a sudden, there was another alliance behind. And then the battle turned. The reason that happened is because we killed our fathers. A time comes where we look ourselves face to face, eyeball to eyeball and say, look guys, this thing has its roots in the spirit and the way to deal with it is to go spiritual. So Nehemiah chapter 1 from verse 1. Please, I need my guys to be very fast. Help me, you can step on the keyboard now. Nehemiah chapter 1. This is part 1. This is not my message. This is not what? This is part 1. I have three assignments. So this is one. The word of Nehemiah, the son of ha Hahilia. And it came to pass in the month Ch Chisu, in the twelfth year, as I was in Shushan the place, that Hanani, one of my brethren, came, he and certain, and certain men of Judah. And I asked them concerning the Jews that had escaped, which were left in captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. And they said unto me, The remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great affliction and reproach. Somebody say affliction. Great and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem also is broken down and the gates thereof are burnt with fire. And it came to pass when I heard these words that I sat down and wept. What did he do? He didn't say, God, we punish this government. Whoever did this thing, God will deal with him. No, 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 no. There is a case to be handled here. There is a matter to be dealt with. I know that we have violated the Lord. The reason why these guys have power to burn down, to destroy, is because we have violated a principle in the kingdom. And you will soon find out because I will read it out. Because of this, I will not even say who are the armies that came to destroy. No! Leave my scripture there. My, I know my face. And the people can see me. Just leave it like this. And it came to pass when I heard these words that I sat down and wept and I mourned certain days and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. What did he do? He mourned. There's a difference between mourning and praying. The mourning here was that he wore sackcloths and ashes. So everywhere you see him, just like Job, you will see him in the attitude and in the atmosphere of repentance. Bear in mind that this guy was not the sinner. Hello? <laughs> this guy was not the sinner. This guy is living in the king's palace. He's enjoying the razzmatazz of the kingdom. He's enjoying the largesse of the king. 
he is part of the king's project the budget of the king is inclusive of this man called Nehemiah but on this particular day when he heard about the burning the breaking the taking away of the people he, the burden of the Lord came upon him and then he began to cry and said I beseech thee O Lord of heaven the great and terrible God that keepeth covenant and mercy for them that love him and observe his commandment now you see there is mercy for them that love him and what observe his commandment what i want us to do today is to trigger observing of the commandment which is we will first agree that lord i beseech thee of the god of heaven the great and the terrible one that keepeth covenant and mercy for them that love him and observe his commandment this is one of the reasons why God did not destroy David. 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 The reason why God will not destroy the, the throne of David, even though Solomon will misbehave, is because he was a man that observed the commandments of God. And therefore God held himself unto an everlasting, what we call eternal covenant. He was not going to change his mind. Nehemiah came and said, Lord, you are the God that keeps covenant. We want to approach your mercy throne. We have done things that legitimize us from being expunged from governance. We have done things that legitimizes Nigeria to say that we cannot come into covenant. But can I shock you a little bit? When we talk about industrialization of Nigeria and Africa, the people that will lead it are not the Southwest people. What the Southwest will bring is intellectual property. But when we talk about industrial revolution, God by divine, by divine, by divine, oh my God, God by divine utterance, God by divine will had sown it to you guys. Who are the you guys? The Southeast. There is nothing you, even if you don't say amen, is there. God is just waiting for you guys to rise up. And the way to rise is the first way to, 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 to cry. Because we are going to call every local government today here now. And we are going to bring them before God. We are going to bring, if I have my way, eh, and we know people, I will tell you, let's locate them and go and beg Aziz's family and tell them, just forgive. Because most of the time, we, we, you know, how many of you know, you say, oh, no, we don't pray now, what did they happen? Should I be a bit blunt with you? You are prayed. And then there is another class of emancipation. But where are we being? Because there is a place of dealing with the issue. What? That are foundational. And he said, I beseech the old God of heaven, the great and terrible God, that keep it covenant and mercy. For them that love him and observe his commandment. Next. Let thine ear now be attentive. Let thine ear be attentive and thy eyes be open that thou mayest hear the prayer of thy servant which I pray before thee now. Day and what? So one of the intelligence is when you begin to have that understanding you engage prayer. How do you engage it? Ah, they are not responding again. How do we respond? But what are we doing now? We are carrying guns day and night. He said, day and night for the children of Israel, thy servant. The changing, the prayer is changing now. He has moved from eulogizing God, from saying that God should, he has now come to where the case is. For the children of Israel, thy servant. And what? confess the sins of the children of Israel which we have sinned against thee both what? I and what? and what? have what? both I remember that at the time he was saying I he was living in opulence this guy could sit down in the king's palace and there's no problem with him he said but both I and my father's house we have what 
he called he conjured the story of the father's house he conjured the history he 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 brought back the backgrounds of what brought them to where they are so this is the issue of the father's house the the dangers of of the neglects the dangers of the misbehaviors of our phobias the ignorance of our progenitors high-ranking professionals high-ranking industrialized industrialists high-ranking businessmen yes you may have a northern man as the richest man in africa but we have the highest billionaires from the southeast give me the next verse we have dealt very corruptly against thee and have not kept thy commandments nor the, nor the statutes nor the judgment which thou commanded thy servant Moses there is a command that God has given to the founding fathers the hours of this world but I'm talking about the founding fathers and the way we dealt with them here you know this kind of prayer is not the prayer of shouting remember I beseech thee the word that thou commandest thy servant Moses saying if ye transgress this is the main if ye transgress I will scatter you abroad among the nations you said to us if we transgress if we violate because transgression means to commit sin intentionally For if I destroy the things that I, if I bring back the things that I once destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. So you, you, you violate deliberately. You violate intentionally. You know that this thing is wrong, but you engage in it. If we transgress, if you transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. The next. But if you turn unto me, we want to turn today. This was where I was going to yesterday. That God didn't allow me. If you turn unto me and keep my commandments and do them, do they were of you cast out unto the uttermost part of the heavens? Yea, will I gather them from thence and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there? There is a place that God has chosen for you, people, O Easterners. There is a place where God's name must reign and where God must dominate. There is a part of this country that has been willed and zoned to you. There is a part that has been zoned to the southwest. There is a part that has been zoned to the south-south. There is a part that has been zoned to the northwest, the north-central, and the northeast. There are places and possibilities of this nation that God has given to every region that is why every region is supposed to complete each herself there are certain mineral resources that you will not find in the other side is on the other side because God wanted to bring the interplay of unity he wanted to de demonstrate marriage among different ethnic culture what, what, whatever you want to call it that God has put in place but you see as far as governance is concerned in this country if we don't arrest this matter we still keep agitating so we want to rise up intelligence number one is that we want to talk to god um the lord we come as a people from the east we want to kneel down we want to cry to jesus that whatever we have done we have abused the fathers whatever we have done whatever they have done and we have done because you see the prayer of nehemiah is i am my father's house not only him but I am my father's house. If I can have the pastors to come to the altar, I wouldn't mind. All ordained pastors from this region, please 
come join me on the altar here all ordained pastors we want to kneel down all ordained pastors all we want to cry on behalf of the east in in ash clothes in repentance we want to kneel down we want to say to the lord show us mercy because it is from here i'll begin to show you the blueprints that god gave to me that in the name of jesus as a people we call back history and we begin to repent concerning the history that we met we as your sons and your daughters we repent today we repent today and the good thing about what i'm sharing is not a special revelation the revelation was shared by one of us and i said lord this is it this is it only with our eyes have we seen only with our ears have we heard but in the name of jesus christ as a people we put on sackcloth and ashes we put on sackcloth and ashes and we lead this train let our voice oh god be gathered let our tears be gathered let it cover for the entire eastern region that in the name of jesus christ we cry today we ask for mercy forgive us our sins forgive us our trespasses we shout we cry that where we have killed our fathers have mercy on us where we have despised the founding fathers and their labels and indeed the legacies that they left that we have burnt down show us mercy show us mercy my father and my God we weep before you we weep between the porch and the altar and we ask for forgiveness we ask for forgiveness Libra do Sekelia I cannot hear the voice of the southeastern brothers I cannot hear the voice of the southeastern sisters the Lord is saying he cannot hear your voice I want to hear your voice today I want to hear your voice today Librando Sate Kuba Likratina Tokoberi Atake Aladre Kedo Kopokadia Adre Kino Kobra Tekatadre Kodobokodia Ledre Kedo Ledre Kedo we come like Nehemiah. Hey. We come like Elijah. We set the stones in order. We set the stones in order. We pour the water, which is the word of God. We pour forth the water on the woods. We pour the water on the wood. We pour the water on the wood. My father, we pour the water on the wood. We repent. We repent. Days we wear sackcloth and ashes. We cry. We cry. We cry. We cry. We cry. Our father, hallowed be your name. Show us your mercy. Show us your grace. Show us your mercy. Show us your way. Oh, 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 Adonai. We repent before you. We repent. We repent. We repent on behalf of the eastern region. From Anambra to Eboe State. Oh my God, to Imo. My Father and my God. Hey. Ila Pombratalia. Shekenonda. E cruz in Abaga. Abaga, Abaga. Ikubaradi Aganda. Legudu Gabadia. Ikumanda Gadia. Let the waters of mercy flow. Let the waters of mercy flow. We repent. We repent. On behalf of our seven our fathers we repent over the killings we repent over the shootings we repent we repent oh god over the betrayers we repent everyone that died and cost us father today we repent let such causes roll away everyone that felt betrayed and walked into the bush that is called the evil forest and never returned and when they got there they pulled out their clothes and they began to curse and began to curse father show us your mercy show us your grace show us your mercy teach us your way we ask for mercy today show us mercy in the east show us mercy in the east let mercy prevail over judgment let mercy let mercy prevail over judgment
we set the stones we set the tone now we set the stones now we repent we speak concerning that which has been done that we know nothing about but oh god has become a part and parcel of what we we live with and live by has become a conduit of how we express ourselves as a people we ask that oh god wherever we have despised the fathers and killed the founding fathers my god and my father show us your mercy show us your mercy oh kambeka ikura tai kira porate rata ikumbai kumbande lakuri dukamba kandele bondra kisha lika ratabando we repent today we repent today we repent today as children we repent as fathers we repent as elders we repent show us your mercy show us your mercy let the blood of jesus that speak better things than the blood of men that have been killed than the blood of men oh god that speak utterances day in and day out let the blood of jesus superimpose over every blood oh my god show us mercy we weep between the porch and the altar help us oh god 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 as a people help us oh god as a people help us oh god as a people help us as a people help us as a people help us help us help us we cry we shout we weep we wear sad clothes help us oh god it looks as though we are almost there and yet from time to time it looks far and farther away from us my god take away the command and lord bring deliverance for us we cry we cry we cry we cry we bring the entire eastern region here and we cry we lead the prayer of repentance on behalf of the southeast zone we cry we cry we cry in the days of ignorance you overlooked but oh God show us your mercy let the bitings of the fathers no longer set the teeth of the children on edge let the eating of the graves of the fathers no longer set us on edge deliver us thank you father thank you father thank you father thank you father thank you lord us mercy the prayer is becoming intense now the Lord is telling me not to rush this somebody pray my God somebody pray bring ash ash bring 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 sackcloth somebody pray somebody pray This is a sonal this is a sonal repentance we repent we repent we beg of you show us mercy show us your mercy it's becoming intense now it's becoming intense somebody cry to Jesus cry cry on behalf of your children 
let the elderly among us cry between the porch and the altar let the younger generation say lord stay your hand for if jesus leaves and i know he leaves you will smell the presidency again the table is about to turn that is why things like this are popping up because God is setting the stones in order so that the eastern region can be restored in her pride of place the east the east the east has her place in me I have not changed my mind says the Lord the east the east the east has her place in me I have not changed my mind if my people who are called by my name we humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways then i the lord i will hear from heaven i will heal their land i will heal their land i will secure their posterity be taken away from you they will no longer be hidden from you oh east oh east oh east your possibilities will no longer be taken Sandre Kido, Korande Kedre Kido Kondro Kofarata, Karadina Kondro Kombaradi, Ragadombre di Kandrakadi Asot. Pastors, thank you. You can take your seat. Thank you. That's first round. That's the first intelligence. essence of sharing things like this is a body a body in the sense that we are just starting to lay the foundation the things that God said to me batteries I begin to share them My prayer tonight that we can use the, that we can have some elderly people whose voice we are going to use when the people of Nigeria began to cry and they said that the young shall rule accurate biblical template in Bible there is nothing like the young shall rule it takes the fathers and the younger generation to build you know the church is the ground and the pillar of truth when God comes into a place he doesn't take side he takes over 
and the way God takes over is by his principles and by his nature how, how does he take over his principles and his nature what is his nature is just so even salvation we have to go through the justice means to achieve it God will not come and say I'm the one that created man and I'm the one that formed man now that man has fallen let me stop the project and do another man no he will be unjust he will go through the stratifications of justice to ensure that when he is done you will look at it and you will say he's a just God and the way the justice system of heaven was displayed it was displayed from the angle of his wisdom so yes don't get me wrong because tomorrow they can cut only half of that place that I said is not only the young that can rule and say I'm saying that the young cannot rule I'm still young what I'm saying is you cannot build accurately with the youth alone you can't no nation stands with the youth alone what you have when God was going to conscript the new the new the new the new the new, the new uh, there's the word I'm looking for the new dispensation when God was going to conscript the new dispensation he said I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh your old men and then your young men somebody said the old and the young must join force to build the conscripting of the new dispensation the new and the young and the old were captured that is why when the young decide to build alone and the old appear the best they can do is to shake their head because the new the young are basking in the glory of what they have built but when the fathers appear when they look at it they say the building looks humongous but the glory is nothing compared to what we experience and the bible said the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former when the fathers look at what we do they should cheer us on but when the fathers look at what those guys did they shook their head they said you have you tried but if only you ask us questions we would have told you where to set the pillars we would have told you where to set the right the right doorsteps we would have told you where the hangings should be but what we see concerning this temple you tried it takes the old and the new to build never forget that even the, the young that they gave opportunity they ended up in sex toy houses the young that were given opportunities so how ready are we so I'm looking for the older ones among us here because we want them to pray to repent on behalf of the older generation. If it's in Igbo language, you can pray. You are permitted. In fact, I would prefer you pray in Igbo. As I'm talking, if you are a bit elderly, please come. up to 50 60 here there's 70 here where's the 70 can you bring the 70 year old for me you are 65 you uncle mom you are in 70 60 plus please come i need i need a woman good i need a man Thank you, sir. Listen, guys. You see this thing we are doing, but people are not falling. But if you have spiritual senses, you will have to go and be praying for me. I went to Naked there yesterday and I was, man, this place is a stronghold. <laughs> Thank you, daddy. Can I get another mic? Please come this way so that they can capture you. I'm on me. 
Can you see them properly or we should go up? Good. I need Reverend come. Victor. If you have been in the business of intercession, Baba. for remaining three. The Lord told me seven people. Yeah. Mommy, are you coming? Okay, so that generation is, for those generation now, we are good. I need, who is in school now? You are in school. You are in the university currently. We are seven now. Are they eight? Eight? seven perfection eight new beginning so it's fine i'm flowing in my little calendar that i know prophetically so i need a mic okay so we are going to start from uh this way down this way we all will now rise up i want to give you what we should do we are setting in order a template and when we are done with this I will read out the scripts that God gave to me 2020 and January this year concerning the East. And then we'll watch what God will do. But what I want you to do as they are praying, I want your amen to la to you know the meaning of amen? It means so shall it be. I want your amen not to echo. Let your amen be loud. Let it be loud. Let it be loud. It's an awesome privilege that God is giving us. Somebody is saying this in his heart. But Reverend Austin, we've done this before in the East. Yes. The reason why things like this pop up again is because God wants to do something. When God wants to bring checks and balances, what he does is he sends an advocator. Do you know that the word advocator, he said, if we see we have an advocator before the Lord, that word advocator means paracletos. Do you know that that word paracletos is what the Bible calls the Holy Ghost, the helper? So the Holy Ghost is both your helper and what? Your advocator. The same word. So the Holy Ghost will help you. Then the Holy Ghost will do the legal side. When the Holy Ghost wants to deal with a matter so that his justice system can be seen, what he does, he, he advocates. What we are doing today is advocating. We are coming before the, the legal luminary of the spirit to plead our case. Why? Because it is the turn of the East. You have been so, you have been so, you have been so caged that to say amen is difficult. You have been so caged that, that you can no longer believe that rulership is in your midst. Because you believe that the way to get rulership is by fighting. You don't know that there is an intervention of heaven for which God will orchestrate and he will release a man from among you who will come before all the obes and he will speak. Who will come before the other people, he will speak. I will soon tell you something because what you are looking at in the east that is difficult that nobody has been able to resolve it. And they are standing and saying, we will die. There is somebody that will come among you and he's here. The wisdom of God will speak through him. He will unite all the fathers. He will unite all the aggrieved people and God Almighty will begin to honor. You will see the way he will bulge out. He will bulge out in your midst. 
so we want to pray please let your amen come loud mommy over to you the one that created the whole universe and created the southeast and created all the people daring who have come before you this afternoon to present our case before you we have repented before you told you about the terrible things we have done some knowingly others unknowingly but we thank you for the forgiveness that comes to us through the lord jesus christ we thank you lord because before the foundation of the earth you know that we will sin and you know there will be an advocate and you have done all that father we say may your name be glorified in jesus name lord we have heard from your servants in the past and we have heard from your servants now that there is a place in you for the eastern region and that is the place we have come to contend with not with bullets not with guns not with knives but with the power of god because you have told us it is not by power nor by might you say it's by your spirit spirit of the holy god our advocate arise and bring your will to pass in the southeast in jesus name arise and glorify your name in jesus name lord let all the power of betrayal in our midst be buried today in jesus name let the power of greed and eating inordinate affection be buried today in jesus name all those things that have made the evil stink in nigeria today the favor of god the fragrance of god covers our thinking in jesus name holy father thank you thank you for it is done thank you for this generation and these people standing here will be alive to see when it will happen lord we will live and see when you will turn around our captivity we will be like them that dream and your name and your name alone will be glorified in jesus mighty name we have prayed Praise the Lord. Father, we just want to thank you, you are good God. We thank you because there is nobody to compare with you. Papa, because in this time around, you remember Imo State. Papa, we are calling upon you now, Jehovah El Shaddai. Is there any way we have sinned against you? Which we know we have sinned against you. Even the youths, even the elders, even the chiefs. Father Jehovah, they have gone astray. They have gone and worship other gods. And that is why you are angry with us. Papa, we are standing on the gap to intercede. You say if only you will find two or three in our midst. Father, we have come out, Jehovah, with our tears. Papa, with fasting and humbleness. Papa, we have come to seek you to say restore. Papa, restore. Restore our nation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Papa, look at the blood, innocent blood, shed over that side. That's part of northern region for just cause. Papa, we are calling upon you. Papa, revolt against our nation and vindicate us. Papa, reshuffle our nation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Papa, look at the widows, even those who are who go there to preach the gospel. We are slain. Jehovah, I shall die. We are calling upon you. Look at the innocent blood crying. Papa, look at the cost of living. Things are going hell scatter. Papa, where are the gods of our fathers? Oh God, our Father. Papa, when Gideon asked, say, where is the God? Where is the God we are serving? God, render your blessing. Have compassion. Have pity on us. Papa, do us good. Let us see the goodness of the Lord upon our lives. Papa, we will not die, but live to propagate your word, to say you are good. 
this ones who you are using to pilot this ministry, Papa, they will not worry down. If you did not answer us, what will be their faith that we say we beg you? Come down, Jesus Christ. You told us in the book of Corinthians that because of uh, your, your covenant with those you love, you will not hold your peace. Oh God, my Father, my Father, arise, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. You said in the book of John 14 verse 14, you said we have not asked, but we are asking now. Papa, you want our court. We are the elder here now, and the youth are here. Papa, in one agreement, we say, you say, can two work together if they agree? Papa, we agree. We leave our individual home, our comfort zone. We come here to share tears for you. Papa, vindicate us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' powerful name, we pray. Amen. Father in heaven, we thank you. We thank you for this moment. Blessed Redeemer, it pleases you to gather us here. Even before we came here, you were already here. Father, this East collectively have sinned against you. We have broken the covenant. We have corrupted our ways. We left your way and we've chosen our own way. But Father, thank you. We have not gotten to the end of that way. Because the end is death. But midway, along that way, you've called our attention to return to you. Father, this afternoon we return to you. Father, to you belongs forgiveness. To us belongs shame of faces. Father, we have descended from being kings in Nigeria to hewers of wood and drawers of water. Father, we cannot go lower than this. We have come to our wit's end. But Father, you are God of Abraham. You are the God of Isaac. You are the God of Jacob. King of glory, you are the God of the intercessor. Blessed Redeemer, the intercessor stands in the office of a counselor to God. Is it not in Romans chapter 11, verse 34, that Apostle Paul quoted what Isaiah wrote? That who has been a counselor to God? In fact, I remember there was a day when Israel corrupted themselves, when they made another God through Aaron, instead of giving you glory, Israel said, Behold your God who has led you out of Egypt. And Father, that day you swore to wipe out Israel and to make another generation through Moses. But Father, that day Moses gave you advice. <laughs> Moses became your counselor. And yet, no one can give you counsel. But an intercessor will always give you counsel. Father, this afternoon we stand in the place of Moses to tell you that, oh God, if you refuse the southeast, if the southeast continues to be hewers of food and drawers of water in a country you've made them kings, people will say, where is their God? People will say, yes, you made them kings temporarily, only to disgrace them now. Father, this is what exactly Moses told you, and you listen to Moses. Father, this afternoon, listen to us. <laughs> Father, he said, when we return to you, you will come back to us. He said, if we draw near to you, you draw near to us. Father, this afternoon, we have repented. We sinned greatly. A father, in judgment, remember mercy. <laughs> father, we cannot be judged enough. We are now like sheep for the slaughter. 
every year they our young men are wasted our young women are wasted because of our sin but father there is always a new beginning give the south is a new beginning yeah the god of restoration restore means there was a store and now that store is empty now you refill the store Father in leadership, refill our store. In political leadership, refill our store. Father, we know one thing. He said, If my people who are called by my name, Kai, humble themselves, pray, and call upon your name that you hear from heaven. Father, this afternoon, our hearts are broken. We have been standing before you from morning till this time. Father, remember, this is the hour of evening oblation. Father, you cannot refuse to hear us. Because at a point in time, Elijah stood alone at this hour, and you came down with fire from heaven and consumed the sacrifice. Father, you do not change. Hear us. Hear us. Restore the South East to the position of power again in this country in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you have heard us. Blessed be your name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I call one mess of my my kawaya chie chie Hanyi kawa meso magita E chie chie Hanyi kawa meso magie E chie gabo Nezie jihova Nya we honanya Ni mene kaya wako tata Gaba ranya ma ihere wanyi Anya mana na ihere wanyi uwa Anya mana ebo wanyi shabia Anya baka otela de kumo ge Si ge kele de rege Mako wanya gwara me ye echi Ari ga bara Ni gwara ina kwa John First John 1.9 Isa uro ma kuputa me hanyi Ni ga bara Sanche chaji me hanyi le Na utawo mna isi kuputi ata Onye wanyi bara Sanche chaji me hanyi Na isi Sanche chaji me hanyi Onye wanyi Igwa kura ina kwa Proverbs 28.18 Iso nye kuchie mehiye na waga aderi ya ma Mo nye kuputa nkye na waga baari ya meni ebere Onye mwa nye kuputa anye mehiye wo Anye lele finga fidraye Bae kaya Anye lele nga jejiri nyanyi ni kujie ye Onye mwa nye baara Jiofa baara Baara anye Anye lele ndiberi zanyi Buo he buo Bulo hoko Meto shiahe Onye mwa nye baara Mena anye ebere Mena me ebere Mena zilolo me ebere Mena zilolo mune nila ebere Ebo wula hiya asiri biya nina isi ke bara Kopi ki joko Kiwe ki joko joyi Na ha Jesus Onye mwa isa ebo wagi ni gaza Ayyo wana ega yota Ay kwa ka ni ge mepe Na wu na mkwa ni li ikwere Ka ijiri biya ni rugita Onye mwa yungwa na ina kwa ka mepe ranyi Ay na yogi ka yota ni Ay na choki ka yungwa marage Na ha Jesus Na ha Jesus this is not why Isaiah 54 17. Is the, the, the yes, it's in Wala or when Wala Edgy Megnaiga prosper. No weapon fashioned against us shall prosper. It's why we refute every tongue. You can make it high now, mommy. Be nice. Mehe ni le hai mele. Bara. Ekwe le ka. Nye ni lo nye no kwa rangwa. Iji me ka ino no hurwe baby. Ekwe le ka woko na ha Jesus. Ire ni le hine me gide isi. Na ta anya kaboli e na ha Jesus. Na isi ka ba wano danyi. Eze bube ka ba wano danyi. Ama ni zama chama chaka ema wano danyi. Ka ba wano danyi. Ka uru siendi na cha chino boda. Na ha Jesus. Eke na trigo nye wanyi. Mama trigi. Ke buli anha gelu. Kebulia hagelu, kebulia hagelu, kebulia hagelu, kebulia hagelu, kebulia hagelu. Makama neba ralai. Na kuipora na a seventeen thirty. It's in the doors of ignorance you overlook. But now 
Many generations to come. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. And so, Lord, we ask you today. You are the high priest that is touched with the feelings of our infirmity. And so, we ask that you look upon us with mercy. For we come to the throne of mercy that will obtain mercy and find help in times of need. Lord, we are in our times of need. Look upon us with mercy. Look upon Enugu with mercy. Look upon Imo State with mercy. Look upon Abia State with mercy. Look upon Ebony with mercy. Look upon Anambara with mercy. We ask that you shine your light upon us again. For scripture says that the same God that commanded light to shine out of darkness, he will shine upon our hearts. We ask for everyone gathered here individually that you begin to shine your light upon us in the name of Jesus. Upon our territories, shine your light upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree for the sake of South East, you will not rest. For the sake of South East, you will not hold your peace until our righteousness shine forth like the morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we are that generation that have cursed our mother. We are that generation that have backbite our fathers. And so we repent this morning. With sackcloth, we repent. With ashes, we repent. Upon every young minister here, I stand as a representative. We are that generation that is filled with pride, malice, and anger. We ask, oh God, that you look upon us with mercy, creating us a clean heart, and take not away your spirit from us. Creating us a clean heart, begin to search us individually in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, faithful Father, Elohim. That they we your children, the Easterners, Lord, we have compromised your standard. We have broken the hedge. That they from the bowel of our hearts, Lord, we have come at the bowel of mercy. That they to obtain mercy and of grace of thee. Jehovah, we are asking, O God, wherever, O God, that they we the generations, Jehovah Nisir has offended has broken the age jehovah nisi gone contrary that the isolating jehovah the landmark that the from this day oh god we are asking be merciful unto us lord have mercy lord remember in thy word is said in thy wrath thou shalt remember mercy that they remember mercy remember mercy over the inhabitants oh god of the eastern region that he, we are pleading for mercy Elohim, we are pleading for mercy. That it be merciful unto us. We repent from our wicked ways. We repent from our transgressions. From all iniquities. From all our wickedness. Jehovah Nisi, we ask. Be merciful unto us. That it from thy throne of mercy and grace. That it look down, O Jehovah. That it remember us again. Remember us, O Jehovah Mercy. Remember us, O Lord our God. That they remember us, remember us, O King of Glory. That they for the goodness, O God, of Thy mercy, O God, King of Glory. That they because of the blood You shed, that You behold us. That they from the bowel of mercy, that they turn Thy anger, Lord, turn Thy anger, Father, Lord, I pray Thee. We have stand this day, Jehovah, as Your vessels representing the entire East, O God. Jehovah will stand at the gates. Lord, we stand this day to possess our possessions. That they will stand this day to possess our inheritance. That they will stand this day to recover 
every lost glory of the entire eastern land uh, in the name of jesus uh, that he, by the virtue of this ordinance this day that he let your name be glorified let your name be glorified that he wipe away the tears of your children that he let there be no sorrow anymore let there be no bitterness that he, from this day let it begin and mark a beginning of a new joy peace jehovah transcending to glory to the beauty of your holy name unto this generation we are of us in the name of jesus that he will appreciate you we give you thanks we give you praise that if oh, you have done it for us because you have hearkened to our voice blessed be thy name for in jesus mighty and wonderful name we have prayed for in jesus mighty and wonderful name we have prayed for in jesus mighty and wonderful name we have prayed and so shall it be in the name of jesus and so shall it be in the name of jesus in jesus name lord i am here representing the youth and the students of the east in the midst of my fathers and my elders lord we have tried with our strength because we thought that we are strong because the bible said that even the youth shall utterly fall father my god we ask for your mercy we are the ones that cost our fathers we did not bless our mothers because we thought that we could excel in our strength jesus the bible said by the arms of flesh shall no man prevail father oh god we ask for your mercy we ask for your mercy upon our land jesus the east we ask for mercy the bible said let reuben live and let his men not be a few jesus may we live in the name of jesus we come boldly to your throne of grace that we may obtain mercy lord you we know that you're not going to forsake us lord that is why we cry for mercy lord have mercy we cause this by ourselves but we know that we have a father that never forsakes my father we run to you and we say lord have mercy have mercy have mercy let there be restoration upon our land lord let our rights be given back to us as a result of your mercy in the mighty name of jesus thank you father for you know that your light will shine again because the bible says because there is a saying that say that that the sun rise from the east lord we know that your son oh god we rise from this place lord thank you father in jesus name while we made repentance earlier on the stage the pastors the lord opened my eyes to see four things i shared one with um, our father and what my prayer would be is to make declaration based on what the lord showed me on the stage number one I saw luxurious buses, coaster buses, loaded with the Easterners, loaded and the goods all tied up, and they were about to leave a bus station. But somehow an invisible hand restrained the bus. The fear of the unknown in the Eastern region, the fear is, that is making our families and our youths to escape to other nations. Lord, we pray this evening lord constrain us constrain families constrain youths constrain homes every spirit of escapism lord let it be cancelled in the name of jesus let the fear that has been sown in this land that nobody can believe that any good can come out of this land anymore that is causing us to be exiled to other nations exiled to other territories believing that nothing good can come out from this land lord restrain us let good come out from this land let good come out of this land in the name of jesus let the spirit of the 
exile spirit be removed in the name of Jesus. The second thing that the Lord showed me was that I saw mothers and fathers, elderly fathers, and I shared it with our father. They were not wearing anything from their waist upwards. And anytime a woman wants to run a course, they remove their tops. It means that there are causes speaking against this foundation. Lord, we stand to declare this evening. The Bible says, costless, a cause costless shall not come. Lord, but in this case, there's a reason for cause. And Lord, we come before you. Affliction shall not arise a second time. We declare, Lord, let every cause over the eastern states, over Imo states, over Anambra states, over Enugu state, over Ebony state, over Abia state. Let the causes be cancelled. Let the causes be nullified. Let the causes be removed. In the name of Jesus. Every word uttered in the foundation of this land, contrary to the cancel and your dictates over Lord, the destiny of the East. Lord, we pray, let it be cancelled. The Bible says the blood of Jesus that speak a better things than the blood of Abel. Every other blood, every other cause, let your blood nullify its effect in the name of Jesus. The third thing I saw was youths, myriads and myriads of youths walking down as if it was a prayer walk or a prayer match. I don't know. They were streaming down an aisle coming back. Lord, we declare restoration. The Bible said the redeemed of the Lord shall return. They shall return with singing. Everlasting joy shall be on their faces. And Lord, we declare, let our youth come back. Let the exiled ones come back. Every wealth that has been transfer transferred out, let it come back. In the name of Jesus. And the last thing that the Lord showed me was that, that Niger Bridge I saw it dilapidated and falling over and suddenly it's as if there was a wind I couldn't see what it was trying to hold it up I don't know what it has to do with the new Niger new um, second Niger bridge I don't know but somehow there is something I want to uh, take your permission to say it. the Anambra state there is something with that state that will bring a connection from the national back to the east and Lord we declare every dilapidation in the east every breaking down everything that we have lost over time lord we declare let it be restored in the name of jesus the breaking down of that bridge shows a neglect for years the east has been neglected for years and it's as if there was a a, a cutting off lord today let the healing come let the healing come let the healing come that bridge is figurative lord Every bridge, every connection that is required to pedestal the east where it belongs, let the restoration come. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. The Bible said, This decree is by the decree of the watchers and by the words of the holy ones. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you give that amen eight times? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. One. Amen. Three. Amen. Four. Amen. Five. Amen. Six. Amen. Somebody give the Lord a shout. Oh. Assignment number one is done. So you can go back to your seat. Now it is the turn of the Holy Ghost. Now it's the turn of the Holy Ghost. You can sit down. The Lord spoke to me about the presidency of Nigeria. And he said he was going to do some introductory work. And in this intro introductory work, oh my God, thank you, Jesus. Please, all that I share with you, I share with great humility. I share in great fear and trepidation before the Lord. 
I share as one bearing responsibility and burdened. I'm not from the east. I'm not from the west. I'm a true Nigerian. I'm from the south south, the least of the country. Then I was born in Sokoto State. I lived my life in Sokoto for 30 years. That was where the Lord trained me in the act of prayers. Then I schooled in Southwest. I went to the university in the Southwest. That was the first time I was leaving Sokoto to Southwest. So I'm a true Nigerian. I speak a little bit of Yoruba. I speak also fluently. I know the in and out of the Hausa tribe. In fact, by right, I can claim to be a governor. I can buy a ticket and say I want to be a governor, if it's in the law of Nigeria, because I, I stayed there for 30 years. So all that I'm sharing is to extend the burdens of this region to us. I want the Easterners to know that more than ever before, God is ready to set you free. That God is ready to bring freedom to us. Not just you, to us. God is interested in not just liberating the East because if the East is not liberated, we will not see the industrial revolution. The first phase of the industrial revolution that we experienced in Nigeria was not the industrial revolution. It was just the foundation. And then it became truncated. There are many things that cannot happen. And I say that without fear and favor. I see it as one who and whom God has given a little bit of authority in this day and time to speak. I say this to your responsibility, not to your heart. That more than ever before as a people, we will need all kinds of engagement as we move forward. God is interested in the eastern region. The eastern region is not an abandoned project. Oh. The eastern region is not an abandoned project. The eastern region is a target within target. It's a target within the target of God. And I tell you, let me say this to you. You have four calendar years to prepare. You may hate me. That, oh, are you saying we will not come in now? The Lord didn't tell me about now. But you have four calendar years to prepare. There is a preparation. You know you just said something about the Anambra. Is the Anambra that you mentioned? There is a preparation that is going on now by the voice of the Lord. And the Lord spoke to me and said to me that between the ages of 40 and 50, I will release a young man from the side of the east. I will release him from the side of the east and he will become a rallying point. I have troubled him. I have bothered him. I have burdened him but he has refused to come to the front because he knows the enormity of the work so he has refused. And the Lord gave me that word and I've been interceding since that time that who is this young man? I thought he was one man. I'm becoming wiser. But I have some of those notes written. So I've sent you the, the new note. Three pages. Can you? I will read from my note. Let me read from my note directly. Now it's a note I'm reading. May the Lord give you understanding. The Lord has said that in this season, He will give the side of the East a rallying voice. 
and this rallying voice is going to be a tender plant that will grow from the house of Zion he's not going to be one that has been given he's not going to be one that has been given to Ezemo that no charms but one that has been given trained and sculptured from the womb of God that is the kind of a young man that God is going to raise and in that day you will see in that day he will bring the Eze together he will bring the chiefs together he will bring the kings of the east together in that day there will be such a love for him and trust because his goal is not to project himself and project his pocket but his goal is to see how that the eastern region will be restored in the pride in the pride of place in the economy and the polity of nigeria i see that day coming and that day is not too far from now but god is calling the eastern people to rise with one voice and begin to pray for that rallying man it will take intercession to give back to that man it will take intercession to give back to that rallying man god is calling the eastern region to begin to cry for that voice even as i speak to you god has been dealing with the man but the man is refusing to come out because he knows that the task is enormous the task over the young man is enormous and he knows but there is a will there is a welling there is a willing there is a bubbling there is an emergence in his own spirit but to yield is something if the body of christ can come together in the side of the east just like men rallied around paul when he was stoned and left for the dead and they held their hands together and Paul rose up straight away and went to the next city. You will see the young man. He will rise from among you. It is not a northern hand that will fix the problem of the east. Help me tell your neighbor. It is not a northern hand that will fix the problem of the east. It is not a southern hand that will fix the problem of the east. There is one young man among you. He's been preparing. He has been he is between the ages of 40 and 50 and God has been working on him and God has been preparing him for such a time as this in his own day he will be great he will be an orator somebody say orator now as I begin to speak you will begin to see the description of this man he will be an orator he will be eloquent with words the Lord will give him utterance he will be strong and his utterance will decide the future of the eastern government his utterance will decide the future his utterance will rattle the mind of the young and he will encourage the mind of the old say yes the spirit of god when this young man appears it will be clear that nobody can bring him down no bomb no blind and no charms can silence him because the prayer of the body of christ and the prayer of the saints have gone ahead of him and god will raise him as a voice there is no bomb there is no blight there is no charm that will be able to bring him down and i thank you my god and my father for giving me the singular opportunity and privilege to lead the prayer among the body of christ in this place tonight i know we have the pentecostals in this place i know we have the methodists in this place i know we have the charismatic in this place i know we have all kinds of movement of the body of christ represented here from the side of the east and right now i would like you to rise up and you are going to pray for soludo that the lord will keep this man that the Afghan nation will become stronger and it will spread like white fire i want you to open your mouth and begin to pray for that governor that the hand of god will keep him that the boldness will come upon him that right now let another spirit come upon him we decree we declare that the aligning factors for this season let it begin to come together Here you are. are you praying at all are you praying at all that the rallying point will begin to emerge that from the side of the east the Eboi nation the emo the anambra the whatever the, the, the which one again now that the five of the states will unite together in the name of the lord jesus christ we pray
pray for that man his heart will not be given over to anything strange but that the fear of God to rule that the fear of God to rule that from that place from that place a new example will emerge don't be an emergence of a new example don't be an emergence of a new example don't be an emergence of a new example in his day the obese he will bring the obese together in his day he will bring the quality together such a beautiful unity that we have not seen such a beautiful unity he will use his eloquence to rattle the heart of the young he will use his wisdom to bring the old together oh my for him pray for men of his like this is a part two of the assignment pray for him pray for him Calabrondo Satra Keliato Ragana Trade Shakolia Elambrodo Satra Kadia Ragada Bondo Sate Ibranda Kodia Tola Lebranda Sombre Kedila Yato Pakariade Sheketombra da Lakudi Alatra Kubaradra Kadia Shakandeba Libranda Asupene Akridin Anto Paladia Shekendoro Bosadi We bring the intelligence of heaven all the way to the southeast we bring a download we bring a download that in the name of Jesus emboldened him in Jesus mighty name we pray some months ago before the elections we were in we were in Anambra for prayers that was when we held the prayer watch and the spirit of the Lord said to me aha uh -huh, these are the slides just hold on I will, I will come to the slides and the spirit of the lord came to me and he said to me begin to narrate that man explain that man in this meeting and shut the door and all of a sudden the lord said to me call soludo by name and pray for him and i said they should shut the door and we began to pray for soludo prior to this time i have thought that the man that god was going to use from this side it was just like samuel looking at the son of of david and son of Jesus, said, indeed, this is the Lord's anointed. And I thought that the Lord has raised a man from among you who happens to be a godfather here. Don't be afraid. Who happens to be a godfather here at some point. But while I prayed, I heard the voice of the Lord. He said, not him, for I have rejected him. And I've rejected him because he has sold the riches of these people to the sons of the bond woman. I didn't know the meaning of that. Until later on, I began to see the interplay and the theatrics. And one of my friends was close to him. I called him on phone. I said, leave now. This man is about to be disgraced in the East. Leave now. If you don't leave, you'll be disgraced with him. I said, pack your things as I'm talking to you and leave. He could not understand it. Because at this time, this man was the in thing. This man was the reigning thing. But as I speak, he has become history. Listen to me, guys. There are many things you guys are thinking will happen in 2023. I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something. That many will be disappointed. And listen to me by the word of the Lord. There will be betrayers that you have never seen before. Some of them will have heart attack. Why? Not because God is going to kill them. But because the very one they sat with and they took counsel. Will turn against them and begin to bite them. There will be whether it is Tinubu or not Tinubu. I want to say to you that there is a plan from heaven for 2023. If the body of Christ will rise and intercede. We will see the interception of God. The way to see this day and time is to rise as intercessors. No wonder the Lord spoke to Apostle Roman. He said, this year is the year of intercessors. It's the year of intercessors. I know that intercessors are not popular. I know that intercessors don't come to the public. But this year is that year of destiny. This year is the precursor to the destiny of Nigeria. And I say to you, oh watchman, oh young man, roll off your sleeve. Roll off your sleeve and get to the center of the battlefield. Men don't die in the center of the battlefield. They 
die at the sad line we go offensive and in the name of Jesus I announce to you that it is the will of God and the power of God and the seal of God that will take over this nation in the name of Jesus that was his side body he came in between so we trust God When he gave his first speech, I followed him. And he said, you see this cloth? This is what I'm going to wear till the end of my breath, my governor, my governorship reign. And he said that, immediately they swear me in, I'm going to office to work. And he said that, he said they want to spend money for my swearing in. And I said, how much is it? Why do we need to spend that kind of money? That is the first time you are hearing a man that has brain. That's the first time you know a man that knows what it means to work in this nation. That a call into office is not a right, but it's a call for service. That's the first time he says, I don't need a Lamborghini car. No, it's Lexus they use. I don't need a Lexus C4 570. I need Innocent. I will wear our textile. The reason why all of us are bold to wear this native, it was Obasanjo that brought it. The first time Obasanjo came into government, he began to wear all these things. And then Jonathan came, and then they began to call him. What do we call it when Jonathan came? We can, began to call it senator. That is why this dress is popular. To Before, you cannot be bold to wear this to travel abroad. You feel ashamed. But today, how many of you have seen T.G. Jakes rock this when he's preaching? In the US, he rocks these dresses now. Am I communicating with you? you guys? Don't know what we have. Let the man emerge, let the builder of Nigeria emerge. And that guy emerges, you will see our economy will recover faster than that of Japan. Oh, you will see, you will see, you will see the wheel, you will see industrialization faster than you can imagine. So that young man from your midst, I want to leave you with your body. And every time you wake up, you will pray. You are going to cry to God. Asking that the Lord will keep Soludo, His Excellency. That He will be His Excellency in spirit and in word. Listen, there's going to be a widespread from that man. It may not look like it now, but there is going to be a wide spread. Something will begin to happen before the close of this year. You will see it. In January, the Lord spoke to me. He said, Son, begin to watch the GDP of the East. He said, Begin to watch the GDP of the East. What is GDP? He said, begin to watch it. I want you to begin to compare the GDP of the East from this year, next year and upper year and compare with the years to behind. You will notice, you will see something because you will begin to see a unity or the force of unity that will begin to come. There's a description that God has given. I don't know if the man is up to 50 or 60. But it's within that range, not 60. Is it 60? It should be about 50 something. Somebody can Google his age now. How old is he? He's, he's, eh? he's not up to 60. But the hand of God is upon him. And the Lord. Huh? Huh? 6 1. Good. So. The hand of God is upon him. Come again. The hand of God is upon him. And the Lord is going to use him to bring together the people from this region. We want to pray that, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hi. Jesus. Oh, 
Jesus. Oh Jesus. For I will come quickly. I will come into your midst quickly. I will come into your midst quickly. For hope defiled makes the heart sick. I will take away defilement of the hopes that you had. I will take away sicknesses. I will take away diseases. I will open the new plumb lines. I will open the new plumb lines. I will bring you into a season where my peace will be multiplied in your midst. But in this season, I call for the intercessors in your midst. I call for men that will be able to stand and give me an occasion to rise. For in this season, you will see answers speedily. You will see answers speedily. You will see my intervention speedily. For where you have been rejected, I'm beginning to walk behind the scenes, says the Lord. For where you have been rejected, I'm beginning to walk behind the scenes, says the Lord. I will cause the heart of the fathers to align with the heart of the kings. I will cause the heart of the kings to align with the heart of the youth. I will cause the heart of the youth to align with the heart of the boys and girls. And I will open the threshold of my grace and favor. For I see the seasons of great rain coming again. I see the seasons of great rain coming again. I see the season of great rain coming again. The rain of my favor. The rain of my grace. The rain of my mercy. For I will cause my rain to fall. It shall rain in your midst. It shall rain in your midst. I'm aligning hearts in this season, says the Lord. I am aligning hearts. I'm aligning hearts. I'm aligning hearts. The boy to boy, girl to girl, man to man. Oh my God, king to king, aces to aces. I'm aligning hearts in this region. I'm aligning hearts in this region. Oh my. The Lord just opened my eyes and the Lord said, I should say to you, I will begin to resolve. I will begin to resolve. I will begin to dissolve. I will resolve and I will dissolve the difficult puzzles in the eastern region. I will begin to resolve it. I will begin to dissolve it. I am aligning the hearts of the boys to boys. I am aligning the hearts. Oh my. I am aligning the heart of the area boys to boys. I am aligning the heart of the area boys to boys. I am aligning hearts says the Lord. I am aligning the heart of man. Hear the word of the Lord. For you have experienced unrest. Now you are about to experience an unrest. <laughs> you have experienced unrest. But now you are about to experience an unrest. And the definition of the unrest, says the Lord, is young men and women will suddenly become tired and they will pursue peace. They will pursue peace. I bring you another kind of unrest. The unrest that I bring is not the rest of killing. It's not the unrest of maiming. I bring you another unrest. That unrest is a burden for the building of your region. That unrest is a burden for the building of your region. That unrest is a burden for the building of your region. If my people who are called by my name can humble themselves and pray, if they can turn away from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. Your land is healed. I can hear your amen now. Your land is healed. 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 While I waited and I prayed before the Lord, the Lord gave me another sign. He said, For longer time, we've heard of Lagos Business School, we've heard of Harvard Business School. 
you see can you see i'm bringing these things out because they are dead don't even it has come when the spirit comes, it brings everything back you know he said he said you have heard of london business school you have heard of harvard business school i remember while i was praying in that season the lord opened my eyes and i saw a gangantuan university from the side of the east i can't remember the name that i call it that day but the lord said to me the trade the evil man's trade will become a trade that will be studied in the world he said listen don't say amen yet because i want to let you know why i am burdened because the lord said to me the day that you begin to hear that thing spoken about in the world know that the revival behind the revival in the side of the east is close and the lord said to me that that thing that you do that you call trade that you see you will pick one young man and when he serve you you will empower him god said to me it will become a global phenomenon and that a universities will gather to study it when i was given that word i didn't know what i was saying i think one month or two months later i saw a university carried out an investigation and they said that business is one of the most that business uh what do you that business model is one of the most vibrant model in the world that it's a model that should be studied and then the Lord said to me have you remembered the prophecy I said to you concerning the side of the east I said Lord more than ever before now I believe and I am standing here in front of many many interdenominational people and I announce to you today that the east is rising 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 rising that the east is rising in the name of jesus your businesses your business model will be greater than harvard will be greater than london business school i stand as a prophet i announce to you today a new season opens somebody shout a new season opens i cannot hear you somebody shout a new season opens Say in the day where you hear them talk about that business and talk about that business model no that in that day i have stepped into the terrain and i began to restore lord 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 restore that when the eastern man wants to speak he will not speak from the side of injury he will speak he will speak from the side of peace he will speak from the side of peace the conglomerate of peace will begin to lose out of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and today I stand as an oracle of God and I shut down the voice of betrayal from your midst no longer will your common effort be depleted no longer will your common good be, be scattered in the name of Jesus Your businesses will become global phenomenon. Your businesses will become global phenomenon. You see, these things are not to excite you. These things is for you to hear them. And so that we can go back and do war. We can go back and do war. We have four more years to prepare. And the Lord is preparing his people. If 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 you can disagree with me and, and, and trust God for 2023, but I didn't see 2023. But I know for sure, I know, as the earth leave it, there is an emerging president from here. 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 There is an emerging Senate president from here. Akrodoli, Kradelata, Cruz Gadela Vadika Andretizai, Grado Zida Grande Zadai, Akrudu Zadei Gadaliga Radia, Kruda Ladra Gede Kondrusa Galadia, Mandris Katoladi, Ekretila Tadre Kodakobra Kedetania, 
Sagalatro, 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 Kodre Kedila Tate Kinitai, Sile Kumbra Telegre Tisa Talatro Dusafadi, Akreda Letre Kida Kobro Kodre Kida Kadra Kada Kabodia, Shekle Tafenia, Pagani Kukuri Badi, Akudi Falatra Kabenatai, Shekre Tina Kubro Tule Kadre Kadasti, Akrade Setendre Kumburi at Angri, Asanglo Tubre Kalendre Kadia, Ukepea Kapore Kedila, Sandri Iku. Capay, a grande capube, a cadele cadre cadu cube cadre, a sane compono cotrina sandre cado canadia. For what you thought were obstacles, now they become stepping stones. For what you thought were obstacles, now they become stepping stones. For what you thought were difficult, now they become a passing over comments. Now they become a passing over comments. I see documents in the spirit and I hear the word ratify, ratify, ratify. There will be a ratification that will empower the East again. There will be a ratification that will empower the East. I see a file in the spirit and I hear the word ratify, ratify, ratify. And I hear the word empower, empower, empower for your people, your people, your people, your people brethren all we come together and they will empower you the north the south the north the south the west they will come together and they will empower you they will empower you there will be a ratifying force you will be empowered 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 if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn away from their wicked ways and turn from their wicked paths and they call my name I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land the evil nation is healed today we announce healing to your nation we announce healing to your nation we announce healing to your nation. We announce healing to your nation. For the wicked will not overcome the good, lest the righteous keep his hand in iniquity. I announce to you today that every wickedness of the wicked, today they are judged. We clap them in their wings. We withdraw their confidence in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout, Oh, East! I cannot hear you. Somebody shout, Oh, East! Be open! Oh, my God. Somebody's angry. Somebody shout, Oh, East! Oh, East! Be restored. Somebody shout, Oh, East! Oh, East! Be restored! the Holy Ghost. I sense a release. I sense a release. I sense a release right now.
spread. It will spread. It will spread. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Isaiah chapter 62 verse 1 and 2. Yeah. 